freedom, man. That's what it's all about. You've got to groove on freedom, like the good book says. Welcome. You are listening to What on Earth is Happening. This show will discuss the topics of human consciousness, mind control, natural law, the occult, and all issues that affect the freedom of the people of Earth. What on Earth is Happening will endeavor to shine light upon the darkness of our world and to offer empowering solutions to the problems we face as humanity approaches its critical moment of choice. And now, here is your host, Mark Passio. Welcome one and all, you're watching What on Earth is Happening. I'm your host, Mark Passio, my website, whatonearthishappening.com. Ladies and gentlemen, government is slavery. Always has been, is now, and always will be until we decide to end it. And here on What on Earth is Happening, we are ending slavery one mind at a time. Thank you, and we're going to have a great show today, continuing with The Unholy Feminine, uh, Extended and Revisited, Part 16. Thank you for tuning in. Today is Sunday, June 16th, 2024. This is episode 294 of What on Earth is Happening, and perhaps the penultimate episode. Um, Next week will definitely be the last episode for the season, and perhaps the last episode ever of the podcast What on Earth is Happening. I don't know whether I will take an extended hiatus and then come back with the show at some future point, or if I'm just going to be moving on completely to different methods of teaching this information. As always, What on Earth is Happening is a show of cumulative information, meaning that you should not watch or listen to the later episodes first. Meaning, if you haven't watched all 293 previous episodes, this episode isn't really going to do you that much good. You should go back instead and listen to every episode in order, without skipping around from one all the way through to 294, and then the subsequent 295, which is the come next week. If you don't do that, you're not getting the prerequisite knowledge, and the things that are said on the later episodes probably aren't truly going to make that much sense to you, or you're not really going to understand them in context, which is how you have to listen and watch what on earth is happening. And there are people who still violently disagree with that absolute truth, and they are incorrect, and they're the people who try to listen out of order, and they don't get the full benefit. They don't get the full value of this podcast because it's like skipping around all over the place in a book, and you don't really build the knowledge as you go. And dumb people do that. People afflicted with the Dunning-Kruger effect insist that you could jump all around, all over the place, uh, in something that is absolutely intended to be a stepwise progression, and somehow you could still come out of it with, uh, you know, advanced learning. And that's not the way reality works. That's the way an imbecile's mind functions. And that's mostly what we have in the world today. We have imbeciles who think that they know more than they actually do, who don't want to listen to the actual experts in their fields, and their voices are marginalized. The the real experts' voices are marginalized, and a bunch of idiots talk about nonsense that has really nothing to do with human freedom. What I've been doing since day one is giving people the most deeply occulted 
information regarding how human freedom works in the realm of nature, in point of fact, reality and nature, which is what the people who control this entire planet and you don't want you to understand. But in fact, most people just shit on that. They don't care whether somebody's actually knowledgeable and trying to give them the truth regarding what's really going on on this planet. They're just arrogant assholes who think they know better than an actual expert, and they want to tell me how things work, and they want to shout a bunch of nonsense and, you know... Uh, stalk me digitally with a bunch of complete, utter nonsense that they want to try to force me to speak about, which is coercion, which is violence, which is an actionable offense to try to, when somebody has told you, stop contacting me, stop harassing me, stop stalking me, and somebody continues to do it, that's coercion, that's violence, that's theft of someone's free will to try to coerce me into talking about what you want me to talk about instead of what's actually important, which is the governing dynamics of human freedom, which is natural law. And for the past 17 years, I have been trying to explain this to the freedom-oriented community who pay lip service to freedom and say they want freedom. And there's been absolutely zero progress because we have a crop of horrific students. There's been no progress. This information hasn't gotten out to the to the anywhere near the level that it needs to get to to the public. Um, It hasn't gotten out to any influencers because all major influencers of any type are cowards and low lives. And they're not interested in putting the truth before their uh, listenership or viewership because they know that that will significantly cut off profit margins. And I'm not about selling people things. People can go and make a donation to get stuff from my gifts area, or they don't. I don't give a shit. I'm not doing this for money. I'm not doing this for popularity. I'm not doing this for click-throughs. I'm not doing this to be liked. I'm doing this because I'm charged by creation to tell the truth regarding the governing dynamics of freedom to a practically unteachable audience. Because they don't understand that they're fucked up. It's not Mark Passio who's fucked up emotionally. My emotional framework is functioning exactly the way it needs to be functioning. I am getting angry at the correct things. I am saying the truth. I am saying all the correct things. I am saying the truth about how the governing dynamics of freedom work. It is other people who are fucked up and broken, not me. My emotions and my emotional control is working actually quite perfectly. It's people out there who are incapable of getting angry. It's people out there who won't get up off their lazy ass and get motivated to action because they got angry enough about the shitty conditions of this world and about the children that are fucking raped and tortured every day and about all the life that is degraded and tortured every day on this planet by the sick psychopaths in control of it. And people want to tell me there's something wrong with my emotions because I'm rightfully angry and I have true righteous indignation. And again, if you get angry, somehow the information coming out of your mouth is false to other idiots, to fucking complete moronic imbeciles out there watching and listening. No, It doesn't make it untrue. It means that you're fucked up. You're broken. And we can, once again, if we say it with a big shit-eating grin on our face, hey, kids, you dumb shit fucks, you just are broken. Your parents fucked you up, little boys and girls. We can say it like that, then all of a sudden it becomes true. That's what the New Age community told you, right, assholes? That's what the all the fake fucking spirituality that you gargled down your gullet every single day. That's what that taught you, right? It taught you to just listen to a big shitty and grin and a high pitched, nice, but flowery voice. And then all of a sudden, all the information's true. And then I can say you're a dumb fuck and you got shat out by your parents who are also equally as much as losers as you are. And, and you learn nothing. You didn't do any spiritual, real spiritual growth. And you, you want to tell people who really do know how it works that they're wrong and you're right when you haven't even 
started the progression into true knowledge, let alone occult knowledge. But I can say that with a big shit-eating smile on my face, with a new age voice, and all of a sudden it's okay and no one complains. Because you're complete retards that have been brainwashed into cutting yourselves off from the true way that your emotions are supposed to work. And you're cut off from real knowledge. And you're cut off, most of all, from true self-improvement through real shadow work. So call what on earth is happening these days forced shadow work one-on-one. That's what you've been getting for the last few years. That's why you, That's why this show is universally despised and hated, and so am I, among the freedom community. We started out with a nice relationship because I was telling people all about the methodologies of mind control and the dark occult, you know? And that's fine to talk about that because th- that means everybody can start pointing fingers outward and externalizing their power, never looking inward, never truly going inside, never truly asking how much am I responsible, never truly asking did my thoughts really change or did I bring all my bullshit baggage into this so-called loser movement with me? It's no, There's no movement. It's a so-called movement. It's a loser movement. The freedom movement is a bunch of fucking losers. You guys are losers. You're not playing to win. You're playing to lose. Because all you want is to externalize your power and point fingers at others. You haven't done the shadow work that I've done. You don't even know what it means. You couldn't fucking spell it. Almost every single one of you. You don't know the tactics that are being used against you. You don't understand epigenics. You don't understand the real methods of mind control. You're all attached to your distorted thoughts and your bullshit religions. Almost all of you out there. And that's why your movement is an abject fucking nightmarish failure. And you're going deeper and deeper and deeper into chains, bondage, and slavery. And that's exactly what you guys deserve. You don't deserve anything better. None of your lives deserve to improve. Because you've sat on your lazy ass. You haven't spoken out. You haven't put any skin in the game. You've basically done nothing. And you've wished for the world to change like a little... Shit in their diapers, new age bullshitter. You keep swallowing that nonsense religion. It's just a new version of the old religion. The stand down psyop to get you to do nothing, which is what almost all of you are doing, is a big fat fucking nothing. And that's why you'll continue to lose, jerk-offs. That's the very reason you'll continue to lose. And I'm one of the only people in the whole community that'll actually tell you the fucking truth. Everybody else will blow smoke up your ass to get clicks, to get money, to get likes, to be liked. I don't give a fuck about any of those things. I'm here spitting hardcore fucking reality down your gullet. You want to put, put a bunch of bullshit down the gullet with a fucking hose and a funnel. You can't even jam it in there any further. And I'm spitting hardcore truth and reality and how the governing dynamics of freedom in nature actually function. It's a science just like physics, just like gravity, just like electromagnetism can be observed and studied and understood. So is how freedom is actually governed in nature. And the people of this community don't want to learn that. You want to externalize everything. You want to point fingers. You want to say, oh, it's just this group or that group. We need to vote somebody new in. We need to make a new technology. We need to figure out a new way of growing fucking food. Whatever. You're all uneducated fucking losers. And I'm going to tell you that this week and again next week because it's probably the last time I'm going to tell you publicly in a forum like this because what on earth is happening is most likely at least the the weekly show is going away and this format's going away i said that i would do it for about five years and i did i continued it on for an additional five years after i came out of my last hiatus and i told people with a new format that's about how long i'd have a run i said i could do at least that long i could probably do five more if i wanted to but in all honesty i don't want to 
because this entire field of endeavor, for me, has been an abject failure, and it's like I never said a fucking word to begin with on day one, because the people have not integrated what I've said. You've not even understood what I've said. You're a bunch of lazy retards who haven't understood a word that I've said from day one, and like I said, I had the velvet glove on and pretended to be Mr. Super fucking nice guy when I first started, and I'll still do that on other people's shows out of respect for their platform, and I'm not doing that anymore on my own platform. This is my platform, and I'll say whatever the fuck I want, whenever the fuck I want, and somebody dare, I dare anybody to try to fucking stop me. Because I'm I'm pushing people into forced shadow work to the extent that I can influence that. Because that's exactly what you guys have refused. You've refused to actually turn the eye inward. Turn the inner eye inward and look at your own shortcomings and failures. Because you want to believe the, the solution is external to the self and what you guys actually fucking think. You brought all your bullshit religion and bad distorted thoughts and your bad shit baggage into a movement with you that can't tolerate any of those things. And that's why your failures at generating human freedom, because you brought in all your distortions of thought. And that means you're you're moving into a new field of endeavor with the same level of consciousness and reality for it to change, for, for your conditions to change, reality doesn't work that way. You have to change what's going on in your mind. You have to change what's going on in your heart. You have to change your behavior. Otherwise, nothing in the external domain changes until those internal changes are made first. And you guys have been abject fucking failures at doing that internal work. You're shit at it. As a matter of fact, all you guys want to do is mouth off at other people who have actually done the hardest work upon themselves that there is to do, and you want to see shortcomings in them that aren't really there. My shortcomings have nothing to do with my rage and anger, okay? But the only shortcoming, as I said, could be the, the impact upon that, upon my health, through raising my blood pressure and putting damage upon my vasculature in general. That's about it. Nothing else. There's no other problem with my anger. That's about it. And the only reason it's there to the extent that it is there is because I've been telling people for 17 years what the solution is, and they've told me to go fuck myself when I'm actually correct and they're full of shit, not the other way around. And I'm confident enough to say that because I'm not on Mount Stupid with you on the Dunning-Kruger graph, as we're going to talk about in a moment. So... Thank you to Will Keller for the artwork he provides every week. This is part 16 of Unholy Feminine. We have 30 slides still to get through in the next two weeks. Let's go through some housekeeping, and then I'm going to talk about the Dunning-Kruger effect for a few minutes, then we'll get into the slides. We were on a three-hour format this whole season from January through June, simulcasting on 10 different social media networks. I'm not going to read them all. Available now at gifts.whatonearthishappening.com, my five most recently released presentations, including Government is Slavery, The Real Seven Deadly Sins, Technology's Critical Role in the War for Freedom, Why We're Losing, and Two Masks, Same Face, The Dark Occult Origins of Nazism and Communism. I've seen a couple of very uh, nice, respectful reviews of Two Masks from people who have uh, actually... um, donated for it in the gifts area of my website and uh i am i'm pleasantly surprised that people are really you know seem to be grasping and understanding what i've laid out there in two masks i'm going to release all of these titles for free on the summer solstice coming up in a few days on june 21st i'm that's my target anyway if i you know if it slips by a day or two so be it but i'm going to try to get all five of them out uh on my Odyssey channel, on my YouTube channel, and on my website by June 21st. How to become the true media racing at us. I think we have less than five weeks or maybe six weeks left in enrollment. Uh, Enrollment opened on April 1st. It is still open. We have uh, plenty of slots. Um, Again, um, this year I was hoping to see a lot more people. We started out like a bat out of hell, and I was certain that this was going to this seminar was going to fill up completely this year. Uh, enrollments really trailed off in the middle of enrollment. 
uh, season and uh, has not really that drastically picked up. So there are plenty of enrollment seats. Uh, enrollment will be open until July 4th. The 4th of July this year is when enrollment for How to Become the True Media 2024 will close. This is an online technology skill sharing seminar. It is 23 weeks long, one evening a week for three hours of instruction. Every Monday, Night from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern U.S. time from July 8th through December 9th, 2024 for a total of 23 classes. This is hosted on the Telegram platform and you can enroll at howtobecomethetruemedia.com. Let me show you that website. I've been doing this each week. The whole curriculum that we're going to cover is there. This is the howtobecomethetruemedia.com website. And as you can see there, there's a huge green enrollment button that you can click to go to the enrollment page that will open up in a new tab in your web browser. And you can add the enrollment to your basket and then check out via the different um, uh, donation methods that we offer. Okay, Uh, please look at the donation methods and understand how my gifts area works. Uh, the, in, the the way that it works is right here, how to use. This tells you all the donation methods that we accept. We don't accept anything else. Cash App, Wise, Zelle, nine different cryptocurrencies. It's not that difficult. If you don't have a wallet in these cryptos or if you don't have an account already set up with the mo- with the funds in it already with Cash App, Wise, or Zelle, don't use gifts. It's very simple. Only use gifts to enroll in how to become the true media or do anything else with gifts if you already have funds in these different wallets or accounts. It's not that difficult, folks. It's not rocket science. People still, the, the, the gifts area of my site has been up now for going on eight years and people still cannot grasp I don't take debit cards or credit cards because I don't have a merchant account. So look at the donations that are accepted and only use gifts if you have one of those donation methods already set up and ready to go. It's not rocket science, folks. The problem is people are poor listeners. This is why you haven't really, as a movement, the freedom movement hasn't learned, it hasn't grown, it hasn't truly expanded, it hasn't accomplished any of its stated goals, because almost everybody in it is a poor learner. You haven't learned through true mentorship. I can't mentor everybody because some of you are actually un- unmentorable. That's why I'm going to shift this focus into I'm going to begin mentoring people and if I decide you're unmentorable, I will drop you as a potential person that I'm mentoring. It will not be just how much money you're willing to donate to what on earth is happening to be mentored. You will have to show me that you're worthy of being mentored and you're not wasting my time. So it's going to be selective mentorship. Okay, that's how when I move into the realm of not publicly broadcasting and because my work is up there and it's available for anybody, you know, it's it's perpetual evergreen knowledge. Anybody can go to my website. They can go to my Odyssey channel. All my work is there. You can get the one great work collection drive from gifts. You know, go to categories here. You can get this drive that has all my work on it. Okay, if you want. If not. Don't get it. You know, that's it. So um, when I get involved in mentoring in the near future, um, I will be taking people on initially as potential people that I will mentor as p- potential um you know, apprentices, if you if you will, and if they show me that they're not serious, I don't care if they offer me ten thousand dollars an hour. I'm not taking them on as a student. This is going to be selective, targeted mentoring of driven people who are driven to learn. And I'll mentor them in any life skills, any knowledge, any technical ability that they want to be mentored in. Okay? That's how the private mentoring is going to work when I transition into that very soon.
probably at the beginning of 2025, if not sooner. So, um, again, when people do take me up on that and they say, okay, I'm going to get a block of time with Mark to mentor, if they show me that they're not mentorable, that they are not people who really are worthy being mentor of being mentored by me, I'm going to drop them like a hot potato. And I'm going to say, you're not worth my time. So the potential students that I take on in mentorship are going to have to prove to me that they're worthy students or I'm dropping them. I'll, I'll take them on for a few initial sessions until I see they're not really serious about it. And then out the door you go. That's how the mentoring is going to work is people are going to have to continuously prove to me that they're worthy of my time. So just letting people know that's how it's going to work. And I'll also be doing full seminars once a year. And they will be digitally delivered in real time. And it will be a donation to enter the real time seminar, after which they will be held in the gift area for one year. That's how it's going to work here at What on Earth is Happening, because I'm tired of a big crop of shit so-called students that aren't any kind of learners whatsoever because you were given an absolute shit mind. You were you were programmed with a shit for brains mind and you brought that into everything that came along after. You were fucked up by your parents. You were fucked up by your teachers. You were fucked up by your clergy. You were fucked up by the news media. You were fucked up by... Your friends, you were fucked up by your family members, and you never unfucked yourself. You never unfucked yourself where it counts. Up here in the old fucking noggin, in between the ears, you stayed fucked up there, thinking that you're okay, thinking that it's acceptable, thinking that it's going to lead to anything good in life. And you brought all your fucked up, distorted thoughts into the next field of endeavor with you, and now you're wondering, why is it going so poorly, and why is there so much tyranny? Why is there so much enslavement? Why can't we ever win? Why can't we beat these people? Everybody is out there wondering about this as if it's some fucking eternal mystery. It's because of your fucked up mind and all the bullshit distortions and thought you brought into this field of endeavor. And that's why it can never work. And you guys don't want to understand that. And you want to think it's some other factor. No, it isn't. It's you. And it's your thinking. It's how fucked up your distorted thinking is and how unteachable you are. That's the answer. That's the truth of the matter. You're like mongrel animal creatures that are unteachable. And I'm going to leave it to other people to try to give that information to you in ways that maybe will will unlock whatever fucked up aspect you have going on in between your your shit for brains ears in, in between your ears which constitutes a complete liquid pool of shit i'm not going to continue to frustrate myself with it quite frankly so that's why i'm moving on on the bigger and better things and potential people who have really learned this information and want to teach it to other people you go and take a crack at teaching the unteachable The whole problem is not enough people have said this information to people, and that's why they continue with their bullshit distortions of thought. And they'll continue with their bullshit distortions of thought until their grave, most likely. That's the hard fact of the matter. People are dumb, and they're determined to stay dumb. Well, if you don't want to be a dumbass, if you don't want to be some lard ass sitting on your ass doing nothing, if you don't want to be a fucking Luddite, a Luddard, as I call people who don't know how to use a fucking computer, you know, then join the How to Become the True Media Seminar. How's that for a, a nice, bright, ebullient, new age pitch to, what, to how to become the true media? Come on, kids, stop being a Luddard and join the class this year. I'm sure you'll be perfectly teachable students that'll learn a whole lot. You know, I mean, what 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 else could my attitude be? You know, with a few people actually putting the skills into effect in the world. You know, am I am I supposed to be super fucking happy that I waste my time year after year after year after year practically? You know. This isn't a game. I, I, I hear I hear fucking morons telling people I'm fucking putting on a show up here. Like this isn't a fucking show, guys. I, this is my real personality. 
in, in, in person with people who I get along with and I like, I might be chill and, you know, not as intense all the time. But I need to take a break from intensity myself. This is not a fucking act on the air, ladies and gentlemen. This is who I really fucking am inside. You know, I hear people online saying Mark's just uh, playing for the camera or exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating shit. This is my real personality and how I think about others inside of myself. And I'm just putting it out there for everybody and saying, I don't give a fuck what you think about me. I'm telling you the truth about what I think about you. And it's a one-way conversation. I'm not interested in feedback toward me. Go and post feedback wherever the fuck you want. Leave my inbox alone. Don't blow up my fucking text. Don't blow up my DMs. I'm not interested. I don't want to hear from you because almost every single solitary one of you do does not know what I know. And you, you, people are like, Mark, can't we talk with me about the flat earth? Mark! Let me see if I can get their voice exactly right. Here's how it sounds. Mark, can we talk about QAnon tonight? Why aren't you talking about QAnon? How come you're not saying it's only the Jews or only the Jesuits or only the Freemasons? That's what you guys sound like. It's, it's like you're a retarded mongrel with horse shit in your mouth. Let's say it so that it's true and received. It's like you're a retarded mongrel animal with horse shit in your mouth. Then it's suddenly true, right? Because all that matters is the tonality at which in which someone says something to you. The truth of the matter doesn't mean a fucking thing, right guys? Absolutely. <laughs> yep. You guys are clowned the fuck out. You are clowned out. Your ass hats wearing clown shoes. You know, that's what you guys are. If you don't want to be ass hats wearing clown shoes, and I mean the big ones, the big fucking flopperoo brand polka dots on them clown shoes. That's what you guys are wearing every day. If you don't want to be that anymore, Maybe you want to look at taking the How to Become the True Media Seminar. Maybe. I don't know. It might be true that you might want to actually learn something. Maybe, maybe not. With most people, probably not. How's that for a sales pitch? Is that working? Uh, how to be, uh, I'm sorry, One Great Work Network. We got like 75, 76 content creators. I think we're at 76. Uh, going pretty well. OneGreatWorkNetwork.com. Thank you to the wonderful, generous donor who donated to our content creators this week. Uh, it's very heartfelt. It's very much appreciated. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. There are some people out there who really do uh, try to assist the accomplishment of the One Great Work uh, with resources that they provide. People have done that through technical equipment. They've done that through uh, funding, etc. And all that is needed, and it is very much appreciated. And for the people who don't understand that operations like this require funding, I mean, I just, I can't believe that people are that retarded. You know, you still have people that think any form of asking for assistance through money or technology is wrong and bad. Go fuck yourselves. Go fuck yourselves, kids. You know, because if somebody needs some some resources to get done what they really need to get done in the world, it's not evil or bad for asking for them. But you jerk off, loser, retarded, fucktard children think that it is. So here's a song for you. Whoa, that's a brand, that's a hit right there, kids. Here's your flopperoos. There you go, kids. The flopperoos brand clown shoes for the asshat clown in you. Get them in polka dot brand today. You know, 
Uh, only requires puckering up your asshole so you can shove both of them way up there. That's all. That's uh, that's how much they cost, kids. So get it all ready and lube it up, and up they go. Because th- th- saying it like that makes it true. You know, that's it. That that this is this is who we're dealing with in the movement of people that actually say that they want freedom. I have to make a laughing stock childish fucking mockery of you people because that's what you guys are you're a laughing stock childish deserving to be mocked bag of fucking shit and there's no other way that i can put it nothing else adequately expresses my true disappointment and dismay at the current human condition And so all I can do, so I don't fucking make my blood pressure go through the roof and burst the fucking blood vessel, is all I can really do is mock you guys the way you deserve to be fucking mocked. And that's infinitely nothing compared to what the fucking dark occultists are doing to you and how they're mocking you. Because they're mocking you in real fucking harmful ways. I'm having some fun and... Pointing out how fucking retarded you guys are. They're actually killing you. They're actually murdering you and your children physically. And epigenetically. Epi-eugenically. And you guys don't seem to notice or give a shit. Not to the extent that it matters. Not to the extent of actually teaching people natural law. Not to the extent of actually teaching people the governing dynamics of human freedom. Not speaking out, not putting skin in the game. No, not to that extent. You want to pay lip service to freedom. You want to say, wouldn't it be nice if we had this condition? But you don't want to do anything to make it fucking happen. And that's why you're eternal fucking losers. And since I've been saying this to people, everybody tunes out or they watch in a state of entertainment. You guys are trash. The people who tune out are trash because you know you haven't done the work and you know I'm telling you that you haven't. And the people who watch for entertainment value just to see what kind of funny shit I'll say, you guys are trash because you guys ain't doing nothing. That's it. The only people who are peers in the great work are the people who are actually speaking out and doing something and explaining the true governing dynamics of human freedom to other humans. And those are people who are on the One Great Work Network doing it to whatever extent that they can. So thank you for your efforts. Don't Tread on Philly meets the second Wednesday of each month for its second Wednesday happy hour. I went out this Wednesday. It was a good turnout. Good good people coming out. Had some good conversation. Second Wednesday of the month, 6 to 9 p.m. at the Dive in South Philadelphia. Always free to attend. Check out DontTreadOnPhilly.com or go to Don't Tread on Philly on Facebook where you can get the event calendar. Inquire and Inspire, third Thursday of the month. That'll be coming up this Thursday. Free for all to attend. Arnold's at Arnold's Family Fun Center in Oaks, Pennsylvania. Visit the website Inquire and Inspire for more. The biggest event of the entire millennium coming at you at Millie Way's Space Lot, Passio, Desiato. It's only the end of the world again, Galactic Tour. On one night only, any day now, Judgment Day, coming at us faster than the How to Become the True Media Seminar. Don't panic, just be there. You know, we, we, me, me and, and Hot Black might do a collab together. At, at this event. I mean, we, we might do some backing vocals for each other's songs. Maybe I'll, I'll sing only the end of the world again, backing vocals, you know, jump in in the chorus. Disaster Area and Mercy Comet, the biggest concert of all time. The biggest concert ever in the observable universe. Don't panic, just be there. The IPFS project is still ongoing. What on earth is happening? dot com slash IPFS to get the uh, basic requirements. No call ins. We usually do those on Telegram. Arc two point zero, the amazing repository of knowledge. It is a 
drive that you send to me, I send it back to you loaded with over 26,000 audio files, over 9,500 books, over 3,400 digital videos from my own personal archive of data that I have downloaded from the internet over these many years. The website to check that out is whatonearthishappening.com slash ARK. whatonearthishappening.com slash A-R-K. Please be respectful of the shipping instructions. They are not commands of behavioral compliance. They are instructions on how to do something correctly and efficiently without fucking up your property. I've done this a thousand times over. I know what works and what doesn't work. I'm not making commands on you as a person. I'm telling you, these are the instructions for getting your drive to me efficiently without fucking it up, without delaying it, without damaging your property, and then getting it from me back to you easily. And be respectful of my time, be respectful of my schedule, be respectful of the instructions for the ARC offer. I'm the one who is generally generously proposing the offer for the ARC. Respect that. I don't have to pander to you. You have to follow my instructions because this is my offer and you're taking me up on my generous offer of knowledge and my time. See, this is the problem with people. Especially, I have to say it again, at the risk of offending them all, I don't care. You guys in Europe and Canada need to listen up. Nobody needs to bend to what you want them to do. I don't care if you have problems receiving it. I don't care if you can't get the jerk off at your local UPS office to do what you want them to do. That's not my problem. That's your problem. Don't bring that problem to me. Go get an account online and do it yourself so you don't have to deal with a cocksucking jerk off that doesn't want to do his job. Because that's all most people in any kind of... A job where they interface with the public are. They're low-life scumbags that don't want to work. They don't want to take pride in doing their work. They want to pass the fucking buck along to somebody else, pass the responsibility on to somebody else, and they want to show up for work and get paid without actually doing any fucking work because they're lazy bags of cock-smoking shit. Okay? That's what I really think of fucking people who do most fucking counter work where they interact with other human beings. Go quit your fucking job and go do something that you do like that isn't an insult to your soul. If you feel that's an insult to your soul, don't tolerate it. Get angry, fucking quit and go do something else. Don't stay at a job where you're not actually doing your fucking job and helping people who want to get something shipped in a simple fucking way. Because there's no reason that you can't fucking do... Uh, the reverse two um, addresses on a label and print two labels. There's no way you can't do that. You just don't want to because you're lazy scumbags. That's what most people working in offices are these days. And it's not my problem. If you can't get them to comply with what I'm telling you I require, then don't send your ARC. It's very simple. Don't just say, I'm going to do it my way because I'm telling you, And I don't like to do this, and I don't want to do this, but I have shipped ARCs back empty this season. During this this season of What on Earth is Happening, I have shipped people's ARCs back blank, and I don't want to do that. I'm not that guy. I'm not a dick like that. You might think I am from how I speak, but I'm really not. I give people the benefit of the doubt as long as they're respectful to me. When you blatantly and flagrantly do something that I specifically listed in the instructions for shipping, don't do this thing, then you do it. You're not, I'm not rewarding bad behavior. It's going back blank. So be respectful of the ARC shipping instructions. What on earth is happening.com slash ARC. It just, it just goes to the fact that, again, people in especially Europe and Canada, they they ha- they have this sense of entitlement to other people's time and energy and think like i need to pander to you to your schedule to way you, the way you want things done you're taking me up on an offer i'm not taking you up on an offer i'm generously providing of something you don't have and you don't want to spend the fucking time to go digging for because you're lazy to begin with So, I'm giving you all of 
this censored occult knowledge. And you won't even have the respect to say, let me stop making it about me. And let me just listen to what Mark requires for his energy, his schedule, his time, etc. Out of basic human decency and respect. And it's because your culture teaches you not to do that. Oh, you'll bend over and take it up the ass for big daddy government in a heart, in a millifucking second. But when someone else asks you, respectfully asks you, out of respect for my time, my energy, my, all of the work I've done over these 17 years, please follow the instructions that I've laid out because if you don't, it creates a hard time for me. And I have to come off of jobs that I'm trying to do and get done and don't even have enough time to get done. And you're pulling me away for your bullshit. Because you can't follow instructions. See, it's all part of not having life skills and a correct mindset. You're fucked up by your parents. The people in Canada and in Europe, mostly, your parents fucked you up badly in this regard. Your society fucked you up badly in this regard. Your parents and your society really fucked you up in this regard, kiddos. I mean, you guys don't really understand basic human respect for other people's time when they're the ones making an offer to edify you, to help you come up out of your garbage, distorted thinking and educate you a little bit. Then you want to say they have to bend to every, every way you want to do something. And you're wrong. You're the one who needs to respectfully uh, defer to what someone else is telling you is respectful of their time and energy, not the other way around, you disrespectful fucking losers. So see, then all of a sudden, it's true, right? Because we said it that way, right? Clown shoes. And as you can see, I don't care about popularity. I don't care whether anybody takes me up on anything that I'm ever talking about. You could do it. You could not do it. You could shove it up your ass for all I care. I don't care. You guys are the fucking big losers. Not me. I'm not the loser that you are. We are not the same. We are different species at this point. I'm a I'm a competent expert in what I understand regarding the dynamics of human freedom, and I'm generally respectful to those who have some basic level of human decency and respect for me. And other people are arrogant, satanic assholes that want to make infringements upon other people's time. Well, fuck around and find out. You'll spend all your money to send an ark to me, and it's going back blank. And donations are non-refundable, one cent, as I've said, and I'm not beating anybody for a donation. I'm telling them up front, if you donate, you're, you're donating for my time to provide this offer, my energy. And if you do the things that I specifically said, I tell people this is an English language offer only. If you don't speak English well enough to read the instructions fully, don't send an ARC. Don't send a drive. If you want to fuck around and not follow the instructions or just say, I, I couldn't get this done. They wouldn't allow me. Not an excuse. Then don't send it. It might mean you can't get it where you live. If that's the case, don't send it. Go and ask somebody else from America who's not Mark Passio to get the ARC offer, then ship it to you however the fuck you want to arrange. Go contact your American friends. Don't ship it the way I told you not to if you're from Canada, Europe, or anywhere the fuck else in the world. See, this is what I mean by being a poor listener and learner. It goes into every area of one's life, whether it's how to fucking clean up in a kitchen to how to fucking ride a motorcycle to how to fucking engage in a fucking contact sport to how to fucking learn how natural law works to how to learn how to fucking pack a box. You guys don't have fucking life skills because your parents fuck you up. And you're not 
unfucking yourself. You're not doing the internal work to unfuck the fuck job that your low life parents did upon you and your fucked up brain. And nobody else will tell you that except Mark Passio. Certainly not like that, because all they want is click-throughs, money, donations, likes, to be fucking liked. I don't give a fuck about any of those things. I'm spitting the hardcore truth directly down your throat. Because that's the truth of the matter. That's why this movement is going nowhere. Because we have a bunch of people that can't read, comprehend what they read, and then act upon what they read. And they want to bring their ego into it when you're not the one who needs to be respected in the offer. I do, because I'm extending the offer to you. Your fucked up parents never taught you that. And you're worse off for it. You're fucked up because of it. I don't care if nobody from Europe or Canada ever sends me an arc again. I'm still going to say what is my major experience with most people from these areas of the world. Throw to a slightly lesser extent Aussies in there. Not as bad. Here's the pecking order. It goes Aussies and then it's almost a tie between Canadians and Europeans, but I'm going to have to say that the Canadians are the worst of all of them. And that's sad. Because you guys should know better, especially being over here in the Western Hemisphere and living so close to the United States and interacting with people from the United States to the extent that you do. Because people from the U.S. don't give me these attitudes with the ARC. You know, I know this it shouldn't be a show about the ARC offer, but it, it's, it's a show about how fucked up people are and they're not learning how they're fucked up and changing it for the better. And that relates to the whole fucking goddamn human condition of slavery. I'd have to say the pecking order goes, the Aussies are somewhat bad, but not terrible. The people of Europe are way worse than even the Aussies. And then the, the Canadians, as they call them, because they cannot do anything right, uh, d- don't get it at all. They're constantly fighting with me over, can I do it this way? Can I do it this way? It's your culture. It's your fucked up culture that teaches you, take it up the ass from your fucking garbage government, but then give a bunch of shit to people in your fucking presence. You know? It's like literally acting like bratty fucking school kids that, oh, I haven't taken up the ass from Big Daddy government this week, so let me turn around and give it up the ass to the nearest person around me who's not government, because I'd never stand up to government because I'm a fucking cowardly piece of shit. And let's say that with a big shit-eating smile. And then all the New Agers go, Boy, isn't that guy Mark Passio telling the truth? Look at that big shit-eating grin on his face. That's bigger than my guru's shit-eater. That he fucking wears every fucking second of every day because being happy is all that's important. Not what's true. Not whether slavery's taking place. No! It's all about following your bliss, man! You didn't know? Well, now you know. What I'm getting at is that there's such low life skills and low respect for others in these cultures. At least Americans know it's very disrespectful, arrogant, and assholish to fuck with somebody else's time. Americans at least value time, not because out of like respect for human decency and dignity. No, they equate time with money. And since money's their god, they try not to fuck with other people's time too much. I don't have this problem with Americans taking me up on the ARC offer. So, take it to heart. If it means you're all butt hurt, you, I, I, I'm, I'm from Canada, and I'm from the UK, and I got really butt hurt at what Passio said this week about my refusal to just listen respectfully to the shipping instructions, and I just think he's trying to boss me around and be my fucking master. I don't give a shit whether you never send me, send away for the Ark. I don't care. It's you who will remain an ignorant fucktard, not me. I already know this stuff. I I forgot more than most people will ever know in a hundred human lifetimes or a thousand or a million. 
because all you guys are about is staying with your same distorted fucking bullshit logic, so-called logic, which isn't anything of the kind in your mind, and your same distorted behaviors that flow from your fucked up distorted thinking. And I'm going to tell you, you have failures in that regard, and you need to do shadow work regarding it. Because it's disrespectful. And your culture and your parents and your teachers and any other bullshitters that have ever been in your ear since the time you were shat out of your mother's womb have never told you that that's a shortcoming in your personality and your behavior. That's what shadow work is. It's for somebody to point out how you're fucked up. And no, don't point out me just saying these things as me being fucked up. Because it doesn't work that way, little kiddos. That's the whole point is we need more petty tyrants in the world. We need more petty tyrants so we actually defeat real tyranny. You see, petty tyranny is telling people, these are your shortcomings. This is why you're a loser. This is why you're a failure. This is why you have no life skills. This is how your parents fucked you up and gave you shit for thoughts and your shit for brain mind. See, if you say it like that with a big smile, then people are going to start understanding that's your shadow work to do. That's why everybody started hating this show. You don't you don't hate it because I'm saying things that are untrue and false because I'm not. I'm challenging you to stop pointing the finger outward and start pointing it at your lazy, lard ass, ludtard self. Who's not speaking out, who's not putting any skin in the game, who's making demands on other people in their time. When it's disrespectful and it's a shit part of your culture and you need to look at it, low lives. You see how that works? And if you say it like that, it magically makes it true. Who would have thought? No problem with it when we say it like this. But if I get angry and yell, all of a sudden it can't be true. And fuck Passio for being angry. Fuck you. That's what you need to go fuck. You need to go fuck yourself. Give Stop What on Earth is happening if you want to make a uh, donation for any of my uh, you know, hard copies of my work. Flash drives, DVDs, the One Great Work collection, t-shirts, coasters, stickers, keychains, you name it, it's all there. Give Stop What on Earth is happening.com if you want to make a straight donation to the causes of What on Earth is Happening, One Great Work Network, How to Become the True Media, etc. What on Earth is happening.com slash donate. Uh, Cash App, Wise, Zell, nine different cryptocurrencies, check or money order. Those are the housekeeping announcements. Let's go into our slides about the Dunning-Kruger effect, which I will continue to provide different slides showing the same basic thing so that the uh, morons out there who don't know how to read a mathematics uh, dual axis graph uh, plotting a function can try to beat it through their skulls and learn something that a fucking sixth grader should know. So, uh, and that's probably being generous. You should probably understand this by like the fifth grade, fifth or sixth grade at the at the maximum. So, this is the Dunning Kruger effect plotted on a graph as a function. The horizontal axis plots knowledge. So, if you're all the way to the left, you don't know anything. If you're all the way to the right, you have expert level knowledge. The vertical axis plots plots confidence in what one believes that they know. Confidence in knowing. Confidence that, that you are correct is what the vertical axis plots. And as you see, as there's hardly any knowledge, most people immediately go all the way up in confidence because they think there's very little to know, and then they think they're an immediate expert, so they reach the peak of what's called Mount Stupid at that arrow that says ignorant. They're at what is known as the peak of Mount Stupid, the apex, the summit of Mount Stupid. They have extremely low levels of knowledge, yet they have extremely high confidence level that they are actually correct in what they think they know. This is where almost the entirety of the human species lives in the in the mount at the very beginning, this, this, this part of the graph that goes like this at the very beginning of the graph, which all is about hardly knowing anything, and yet having high level of confidence, at least in the middle of that bell curve section of the graph, that you are actually correct when in fact you are actually not correct. 
You see, it's false confidence. It's confidence that you're you're assured in yourself that you're right when in fact you're incorrect. I'm not at that place. We are not at the same level in this graph where most people are at. And certainly most of the freedom movement is at. Because you guys are all attached to your bullshit religions. You're attached to cultural religions. You're attached to money. You're attached to politics. You're attached to the belief in authority. You're attached to the belief that government is inherently morally legitimate, when in fact it is not. And you're completely confident in what you think the solutions are. You think the solutions are reform, uh, putting in a new political candidate, um, revising the existing psychopathic bullshit system. Um, uh, inventing some new technology, inventing some new cryptocurrency, um, growing new methods of growing your food or procuring water or all of this nonsense that people will say is a solution to freedom. You're all fucked up. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Your low-level knowledge on peak, on the very summit peak of Mount Stupid, on the Dunning-Kruger effect, you don't understand governing dynamics, you don't understand natural law, you don't understand the necessity of teaching natural law, and you're going to lose forever, because that's what you were born to do. You're born losers. Prove me wrong, learn the real dynamics of human freedom, get out of Mount Stupid, start building your knowledge, and start going up the path of enlightenment until you get to the plateau of wisdom. And see, this Dunning-Kruger effect graph shows as knowledge increases, people become far less sure of themselves. Only until knowledge goes way up do people at that expert level really begin to become sure of their correctness regarding that knowledge. And in this case, we could plot the Dunning-Kruger effect about knowledge of how freedom works. That's why the whole freedom community has been failing for the last 20 years or more. And you guys haven't been willing to even examine the evidence that an expert is presenting to you, let alone really listen to that wisdom. What big social media influencers will have Mark Passio on? As a matter of fact, Mike Adams just had me on his show. It's not released to the public yet. So... I've been told it's about a week in, in between when he records an interview versus when it's released, so you could watch for that at Brideon, his platform, his social, his uh, video platform. So hopefully that'll be out in the next few days. I'll let people know about it next week. Again, and Mike said to me during this interview, "I can't believe with your level of knowledge." how you're not more popular than you are and how more people won't bring you on to their show to interview you because he's seen very little in regards of anybody of any significance bringing me on and interviewing me. And it's because they probably think I'm going to talk as flagrantly and blatantly as I do here on What on Earth is Happening. And I don't do that on other people's shows. I never have. I think I've cursed once on somebody's show and apologized for like five minutes afterward. Like, because it legitimately really slipped out. You know, I I very much control my language on other people's shows because I don't know whether they want me to go that hardcore. If I was given complete permission and say, just unleash on people, I'll do it a little bit on somebody else's show. But out of respect for them and a new audience that may not be familiar with me, I generally don't do that. And that's not really even the reason that I gave when I answered him. I said people don't really want to hear what I have to say. They want to continue to hold on to their bullshit, distorted religious viewpoints regarding what generates freedom, what generates enslavement. They don't know the correct answer. They think they have knowledge of it when they don't. They're at the peak of Mount Stupid. I'm the expert on the plateau of uh, wisdom, shouting over at them, hey, there's way more to learn, retard. And they don't like that because they're retarded imbeciles that think they're right. They can't say the words, I was wrong, and slip off of Mount Stupid to the right and go down for a time into that place where you're really not sure, but then really go far deeper into true knowledge, and then you will become sure. 
then all existential satanic doubt fades away. And because you really know how a science truly works, which is the behavioral science governed by natural law, the, the, the science of human consequences for behaviors that we put out into the world, that we then receive the consequences for through natural law. That's called karma. Any other name you want to call it doesn't matter. That's how reality works to either bring you enslavement or freedom. It's the law of freedom, ladies and gentlemen. As any given society becomes more moral, that society becomes more free. As any given society becomes more immoral, they become more enslaved. That's the law of freedom under natural law. I have expert level knowledge in how it works. That doesn't mean that that's any special talent. I acquired that understanding through knowledge, not by believing in anything, not by developing a religious belief system, not by clinging on to my existing bullshit religious distorted beliefs, but through putting the ego aside and saying I was wrong in what I believed previously and then studying and observing and really trying to take in the totality of how it really does work in nature by getting the ego out of the way and really fucking paying attention and becoming a good student. When I was a Satanist, all the distorted thinking in my mind held me back from being a good student of natural law. And so I was doing things that were chaotic, disorderly, satanic, distorted, and bringing more freedom down upon myself and the rest of the world. Almost everybody is still there in living on Mount Stupid. And I'm over there on the other side saying you need to get your ass off that fucking mountain because it's not taking you anywhere you want to go. It's going to take you into the fucking abyss of total destruction and chaos. And the population of Earth does not want to listen and all the fucking bullshit so-called media influencers out there, you're loser fucking cowards and you won't bring a fucking person of my wisdom and my knowledge and my understanding of how things really work onto any of your fucking loser ass shows because that's what you guys are you're fucking dumb losers you think you're great because you have another big huge fat fucking group of dumb fucking losers listening to what your dumb loser ass spews out of your shit hose called a mouth it doesn't make you special it doesn't make you a good person it makes you a fucking person who's dumb and is playing to fucking lose and let's give the message in the nice shit eating voice ladies and gentlemen all you bullshit social media influencers out there with real big audiences you're low life scumbag know nothing losers and all you do is you pander to your big bullshit audience and you're spraying out a fucking shit hose that you call a mouth right into their mouths and you're filling them up with your liquid dog shit for brains and once again, the message being delivered in the new age voice with the big shit-eating grin on the face, just like your bullshit shit-eating new age guru, makes it true, folks. You didn't hear? You didn't get the memo? We'll send you that email again. Don't you worry. You'll get the memo, kids. All right? You, you'll get the memo and a song with it. There's your there's verse number two. As the Ramon said, second verse, same as the first. You know, it's hard to believe this is where we're at, folks. Hard to believe that that this whole educational outreach operation is going to end up in the realm of sarcastic comedy at people who don't deserve anything other than that. Directed toward people who that's all you guys deserve. You don't even really deserve that because in all honesty, that could put a little smile on people's face for the sarcastic comedy that it is. And you guys don't even really deserve that. You deserve nothing. You deserve more pain and suffering is what you guys really deserve. You deserve pain and suffering and nothing else because you're not good people and you didn't do anything truly good. You sat around on your lazy asses. You talked shit on other people. You didn't get up off your lazy, unmotivated, lardish, cowardly assholes. You sat around with your thumb up your asshole. 
uh, your whole fucking life. You never got motivated. You never became driven to learn. You never became driven to do. You never really outgrew any of your self-imposed limitations because you did no shadow work on yourself and that makes you a piece of shit. And I'm here to tell you the truth about it, not to get you to like me or to give me anything. I don't give a fuck if you give me anything. I'm telling you what the truth is. That's all I'm charged to do, and that's what I'll do until the day I cease to draw breath, motherfuckers. So, there's a big confidence gap, at least at the initial stages of knowledge, where the completely ignorant believe that they know more than the expert, the true expert. And there's a big gap where the ignorant is are way more confident than they're, that they're correct than the actual expert who really knows how the dynamic works. This is why I can't get through to people. They're sure that they're correct, and they're living on the summit of Mount Stupid. They won't bring me on to be interviewed, who's an actual expert in how the dynamic of freedom works, because they actually think that they know more than I do. And they're dumbass losers. And yeah, that's an ad hominem, and it's a true one. They're dumb people who don't know how the dynamic works because they haven't done enough studying, they haven't received enough knowledge, and they're just at their little baby step parts of their bullshit false awakening, and they want to tell a true expert who has almost exhausted the availability of human knowledge on the topic that I am wrong and they're correct. And that's why I say fuck you people. You don't, the people who live on Mount Stupid, don't deserve anything but suffering, pain, and chaos. Until you kick yourself off the mountain to the right of this graph, and you start fucking doing real learning and real spiritual growth, you don't deserve anything but suffering and pain. And that's what you shall have in endless abundance supplied to you by the universe. You will have energy kick in your direction that will supply no end of pain, suffering, and chaos in your worthless, miserable lives. Because you're bucking what the universe's plan is for you and saying, I refuse to budge. I refuse to learn. I refuse to admit that I was wrong. I did that shadow work. I did it 30 fucking years ago, okay, 25, 30 to 25. I don't need to continue to do that. You guys need to begin what you never began that I went through 20, 25 fucking years ago. You guys didn't do any of that fucking shadow work ever. You sat on your lazy lord asses trying to say that you guys already know what you need to know when in fact you don't know shit. This movement is an abject failure because of all the people who believe they have all the knowledge they need when they have none of it. So let's look at another graph of this. And I've put my own wording on the axes this time. Knowledge, understanding, and wisdom, the steps of the trivium. You can look at it that way on the horizontal axis. Confidence in being correct on the vertical axis. There you have almost the whole human population living on Mount Stupid or on the slope of the right side of Mount Stupid. In all honesty, they're really on the left side, the bulk of them. This this is obviously drawn, you know, to a scale where they can only fit the figures on the right. But you want to know where most human beings live. They're actually on the left-hand side of the of the slope of Mount Stupid. Okay, that's where most people in the world are there. So I'm outlining all the people who are either average, low-information people, or distorted thinkers, including those in the freedom movement. People who have not really figured out how it really works, haven't even begun the ascent in knowledge to learn how it really works. They're either living on Mount Stupid, or they're in what's called the Valley of Despair. And then there's very few people trying to climb the other way, trying to climb up the slope of enlightenment to get to real high-level knowledge about how freedom works. And that's the second part. So, so Soak in this aspect of it, okay? The more confident you are and you have low knowledge, the confidence goes way up. Then it drops off as you gain a little bit more knowledge, 
and you're not so confident and then you're in a despair. I can't even know this. But th- this is where all see at the bottom of this part in the bottom of the U part of the of the graph. It's all people saying, "I only know that I know nothing." And I don't think anything can really be known because this seems insurmountable and this seems unable to be known. And they're just as stupid as the people living on Mount Stupid. They have a little bit more knowledge to know they don't know everything they need to know. See, you're in at least a slightly better position. But it's not a drastically better position if you stay there. If you stay at the place where your knowledge and understanding has increased a tiny little bit moving down into that valley of despair. And then you just stay there. And then you start saying dumb shit like, Anybody that claims to know anything is just an arrogant prick. We can't really know. You can never know anything, and I'm smart and wise because I'm saying, I know that I don't know anything. No, you're just a dumb fucking retard that wants to believe nobody can actually become an expert in knowing how something works because you're too lazy to put the fucking work in to become that person. You see? Let me say it again. You're just saying nobody can truly become a knowledgeable expert in this field of endeavor regarding how is human freedom generated or destroyed and get the answer correct and be confident that you're correct, meaning a high-level expert person in that dynamic and being able to explain it to others because you don't want to put in the fucking work to actually become that high level of an expert and you certainly don't want to do the work in trying to communicate it to the fucking whole human population that lives on Mount Stupid because you're lazy and cowardly and you're a fucking loser with no skin in the game that's all the people I've been talking to the whole 17 years of what on earth is happening and you're still not getting the fucking message in what you need to become. That's why nothing has changed, because too few people have become the expert at the top of the fucking right-hand side of this graph, and have actually started the journey to teaching the fucking ignorant. Because if many, 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 many people learned this, and then taught it to others, it would get easier to drag people off the fucking summit of Mount Stupid to the right of this graph. But you guys aren't doing that work because you're lazy fucking bastards, often stuck in the valley of despair with no confidence in your own ability or your your own uh, drive to truly learn what you need to know to become an expert. That's why so few people ever become content creators, because you look at it, you go, that's too hard. I'm not climbing that fucking slope. Fuck you. I'll go back to Mount Stupid where it was real easy to climb. And you stay and know nothing. The people on this side of the graph, outlined in green now, are people who are actually trying hard to learn and grow by purging their distortions of thought which have held them back. Their religions. They're purging their religions. They're getting rid of all of the distortions of thought that have held them back from forward progress to really understanding how things really work in the realm of nature and true science. You know, these are people on their way to truly learning how natural, how the science of natural law works. Truly learning it. Not thinking that they know it. Really learning it. And it's a tiny piss ant handful. It's a piss Poor, piss-in-a-pot handful. It's unacceptably small. And I'm the guy over on the right at the top, pointing at the other fucking people saying, maybe you don't want to live on Mount Stupid. Maybe you don't want to dwell in the Valley of Despair. Maybe you want to fucking gain more knowledge and come up here where we can actually fucking do some good for fucking humanity and ourselves while we're at it. But you guys don't want to do that. You guys don't want to put any skin in the game. You don't want to make any sacrifices. That's why you're going to lose, and that's why evil is going to win. And that's who deserves to win. Evil deserves to win, and you guys don't. And that's the ultimate message that I have to leave what on earth is happening saying. Because if I said anything else, I'd be lying. And that's the first maxim of true occult wisdom. 
Stop lying most of all to yourself and then by extension, stop lying to others. You guys are the liars. I'm the truth teller. You're the liars that you're saying you're good people. I'm the truth teller that you're bad people. You guys are lying saying you want freedom. I'm the truth teller telling you that you don't because you have no fucking sacrifice or skin in this game. You're not teaching other people. You're not really climbing the slope of enlightenment. You're not putting this knowledge out there for others. You're leaving it to a piss ant handful of fucking people, and they can't tag out to anybody, and no one has an unlimited tank of energy. You want to believe it's all about me. This is my mission. This is my fucking work. This is mine only. Fuck you. This isn't for me only. This is for everybody to learn and teach. And if you don't think so, you're fucking wrong and you're an arrogant little child forever believing that bullshit. And your parents and your teachers and your clergy and your friends and your fucking family members all fucked up your internal work. All fucked up your internal mindset. They fuck you up. And they put you on a path of ignorance saying that's for someone else to do. They put you on a path of ignorance saying that's not for me. They put you on a path of ignorance saying I'm not going to learn and grow. I'm going to stay right here where I'm at and I'm going to be comfortable in my fucking ignorance and my arrogance. Because that's where all you guys are at. You're You're ignorant and you're arrogant regarding your ignorance. See, that's what... That's what separates me and you. That's what makes us different species, truly. When I recognized how badly I was wrong, I didn't sit back in arrogance and say, I'm perfectly okay and I'm just going to stay like this and I'm going to keep all my distorted thoughts that are making chaos all around me, making chaos in the world, and I'm okay. And I'm going to tell myself the lie, I'm okay. Because Oh, all the people I cared about, like my parents, my teachers, my friends, my family members, they're the ones who actually put me in that distorted form of thought. And they think, oh, why did he go? I can't imagine. Why did this guy go and actually become a dark occultist? Why did he enter Satanism? Maybe it's because of all the bullshit that all these fucking people that are supposed to care about me and have any concern for my well-being programmed me with when I was young. My going into those places is the absolute expression of all the distorted thought that people around me programmed me with when I was young and fucked me up with. Did I sit back and go in arrogance? It's perfectly okay. I'm just going to continue on this path. As a matter of fact, I'm going to quadruple and quintuple down. And I'm going to say, I don't need to know anything else. I don't need to learn. I don't need to grow. I don't need to change. I don't need to change my thoughts. No, that's not what I did. I challenged myself and changed and climbed the slope of enlightenment to the plateau of wisdom. You guys didn't. And that makes you a bad person. You're not good people when you stay in a state of deficiency and say, I'm okay where I'm at. No, you are not. That is New Age bullshit. That is religious bullshit. That is some psychobabble bullshit put out by a dark fucking occultist to get you to stay right where you're at and not actually improve yourself. Because improvement is hard fucking work, and saying I'm okay right where I'm at is easy to fucking do and sounds great, makes you feel all flowery and butterflies on the inside, like the little shit diapered baby that you are. You see how that works? The religious bullshit that you're programmed with and that you've been conditioned to accept to hear that, it just gets you to stay exactly where you're at in a state of in sufficient knowledge and ability so you stay a little fucking shit in the diapers baby not knowing anything and not knowing how to do anything you see that's how that dynamic works you little shit punk you little shit in the diapers punk it works like that just as i laid it out to you and once again because of this absolute truth And if I get really fucking angry and tell you you're a fucking moron and you're a bad person, I gotta be lying to you. Of course. Because 
Truth only comes in a bright, flowery fucking voice. Let me just, I need, you know what I need? I need a tie. No, no dress shirt, just a fucking tie, right? And just put, put the tie right on over the shirt that I'm wearing, then, and put this shit smile on, and then everybody will listen to Mark Passio then, and then maybe I'll go on some big social media influencers who don't say a fucking thing. They're flat smooth all day long, and they've never said a fucking word. I mean, you guys, you could power the whole fucking electrical grid with these flaps, you know? At least I'm saying something that's true. You guys are flapping the fuck away. I might be a loudmouth, but I'm saying what's true. You guys are fucking talking, 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 jabbering, jibber, jabbering all fucking day long with your yap trap going at a billion fucking miles an hour, and you haven't said one word. You've talked about bullshit, all of you. All of you. I gotta give credit at least to Alex Jones through InfoWars has brought me onto his platform numerous times. And I'm thankful for that. And a couple of other people who have slightly larger outreaches than me that have brought me onto their show over the years. But it's amounted to hardly anything. It's amounted to hardly anything. So the people on the very right side of this graph, the right third or so, are actually starting to climb up in knowledge more than just in a linear progression. It's becoming somewhat of a logarithmic progression, and they are really doing the work to learn and grow. And if the, the, the truth be told, I would take... Every person on this graph, I put them on the left-hand side of the ascent to Mount Stupid. I put a big handful up at the very apex of Mount Stupid. I put a couple of people down in the Valley of Despair. I, I put one person climbing the slope of enlightenment and one person at the peak of that slope. That's it. That's how I would draw it. I didn't create my version. Maybe next week I'll create my version of this graph. I'll, I'll make the, the line and the curve. I'll draw that with some software. You know, maybe I'll redraw the axes and everything. I'll make a couple of stick figures and I'll put them in the proportions that I think they need to be put. Because I would put almost 100% of people all the way in the corner in between where it says confidence in being correct, that line right there, and the initial red line. I would dump them all in that side of the graph. Just jam them all in that corner of the graph, because that's where almost the whole human species is at. <clears throat> so there's an explanation of the Dunning-Kruger effect for people who passed fifth grade math and actually know how to read a fucking function graph. Which means maybe two or three people that are watching out of however many thousands. You know, maybe. I might be given too much credit. Maybe we, we got the Dunning-Kruger effect in, in that function through to maybe two or three people worldwide that know how to read a fucking graph who are adults that actually passed fifth grade math. Let's go into the um, Unholy Feminine, Part 16 of the Unholy Feminine Revisited and Extended Presentation. Last week we left off on talking about who actually directs the neo-feminism agenda and the, this agenda for global epigenics waged upon the population, which is getting the population to actually cull characteristics which would be beneficial to human freedom through mind control. You're culling those characteristics out of the population through mind control and selective breeding. And religion is a gigantic part of that agenda. If you don't think that all the religions of the world are doing that to push for tighter control over the population, to push for more dysgenics over the population to push for more people standing down and doing nothing to truly acquire real human freedom and understand the dynamic that governs it. You're, you're a totally naive moron. And you don't understand the deep and intricate and intimate interconnections between the dark occult and the major religious institutions that are operating on this planet and have been for thousands of years. 
and your religion is not unaffected. Everybody goes, oh, yeah, 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 that's, uh, that's happening to all the religions, all right, yeah, but, but not mine, my religion's untouched by them occultists, it's untouched by them dark Satanists, them dark Luciferians, <laughs> but, but yeah, the Jews, and yeah, the Muslims, yeah, yeah, all, all those people, yep, they're all affected, just not my church, you dumb shit. You fucking dumb, naive, shit for brains loser. You think the dark occult hasn't infiltrated? You, you think fucking Satanists haven't infiltrated every fucking major world religion? I've been trying to explain this to you for 17 fucking years. And now we just have maybe a couple of influencers talking to each other about something they don't know anything about. Right now in 2024, here's where we're at, folks. I think maybe there's an occult component to all of this that's going on. I I heard this the other day. I heard this. I, I heard people saying amongst each other, you know, I think maybe there might be some... Uh, esoteric component to all the control that's going on in our world. No way, man. Impossible. Like, first of all, you guys just blew my fucking mind, man. My mind is blown, Charlie. My God. He just said there might be an esoteric component to all of this. He said there might be occultists behind things, behind the institutions. Oh, my God. Do you think that might be true, Jim Bob? you think it might be? I don't know. Definitely don't ask Mark Passio. Don't ask that guy. He's going to tell you that they infiltrated Christianity. We know that can't be true. Because as long as you believe on Jesus, as long as you all believe on Christ, you got to do nothing. It absolves you of all your responsibility. Not only your sins, it, involves, it absolves you of all your responsibility. And you got to take no action. You just sit on your lazy fucking ass and believe on Christ. Isn't that how it works, children? Yeah, absolutely. Abso-fucking-lutely. Just like the Jewish people out there who still believe in this racist, retarded, psychopathic garbage that there's a chosen people and they're going to rule over other people. Talmudic Judaism and Zionism. Oh yeah, your religion's not infiltrated by the dark occult. And even even the synagogue and Torah worshipping Jews. Like, you know, your religion's not talking about the beings that came here and genetically manipulated this species. No, 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 no. It's perfectly intact. You guys have all the right answers about all this bullshit ritual to do on certain days, because that's what the creator of the universe cares about. And your religion's not infiltrated. Oh no, forget the infiltration of the Muslim religion. It isn't about fucking uh, submission and actual uh, child molestation in many cases. No, it's perfectly holy and it's totally of God. And there's no dark occultists running things at Mecca and Medina. No, never happen. They're just perfectly intentioned men of God. Just like all the wonderful Zionists and Talmudic Jews and all the crazy uh, rapture-based Christians. You know, no, no, no dark occult ideas ever came into religion. Especially not neo-feminism and eugenics. Like... The, the, the world religions couldn't possibly be be proselytizing things that are going to lead to eugenics and mind control. No, they're just holy fucking men of God telling people the truth, just like the Pharisees and Sadducees of old were telling everybody the truth. And that bastard shit star of Christ, I mean, he came along and he just turned over the whole fucking apple cart. How dare he? We were perfectly fine with our bullshit beliefs. And then all the Christians who came and distorted the message of the the allegory or the real life teacher, whatever you want to believe, it doesn't even fucking matter. 
And all of a sudden, now they come along with their bullshit religion, all their bullshit ideas that they think people have to follow and give them all bullshit rules and regulations for them. And all of a sudden, yeah, that's uninfiltrated. That's pure and uninfiltrated. Yeah, absolutely. You dumb shit. All of your bullshit religions are just that. Infiltrated by Satanist bullshit. All of it. Not some of it. All of it. And you're too thick-headed and shit for brains to fucking figure it the fuck out and accept it? Because you cling like verminous leeches to your bullshit ideologies. And that's what the great work is, boys and girls, to crush and destroy all your religious, nonsensical, distorted thinking. And instead, you guys want to cling to it with bullshit religious fervor. And most of you won't accept that's who's putting the neo-feminism. That's who's putting Satanism everywhere. That's who's fucking infiltrated all religions. That's who's fucking directing the epigenetics agenda. This is a religious agenda through worldwide satanically infiltrated cultural religious institutions. And if you don't think so, you're just fucking stupid and wrong. And who lies behind them are the real priest class that is really running the gig here, folks, and is really putting all of this agenda out into people's faces and injecting all of these distortions of thought into their minds, and that's the dark occult. You can call it whatever the fuck you want, okay? You can say it's dark, evil psychologists that have become psychopathic. You can say it's the Illuminati, the Bavarian Illuminati, the dark aspect of the Illuminated. You could call it the Black Sun. It's members of the Bohemian Club. It's members of the Bilderberg Group. It's member of all the think tanks, Tavistock Institute of Human Relations, all the intelligence agencies that really are running all of the military aspects and all of the um, COINTEL Pro aspects. But I just simply refer to them under the banner of the dark occult because that comprises it. They are using hidden knowledge about the human psyche and the real laws of nature in a dark way to control, to manipulate, and to enslave. It's very simple. You don't say it's all under the umbrella of this, 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 or that group. It's not the Jesuits. It's not the Freemasons. It's not Jewish people. It's not just Zionists. People go, Mork! Here, let me see if I can get their voice right. Mork! That's how they always start. It's always the, the, Mark, why do you say that the dark occultists rule everything when they are controlled by the Zionists? You know, they, they shit out of their mouth a big splattery diarrhea splat after they say this, and it always starts with the, I, look, I know your tongue is like 16 pounds in your mouth, and you tire of carrying it around with all the shit that's in there, too. But, you know, maybe just say my name less. Maybe keep my fucking name out of your fucking 16 pound swelled tongue horse shit, liquid horse shit in the mouth. Mouth. Try it one day. Try it some days. It'll do a body good. You know? Just keep my name out of your mouth. But here's what they do. Mark! Mark! What do you want to tell people that the Zionists own and control the whole body of dark occultists? Uh, never, because moron, it doesn't work that way. The dark occultists own all of the religious sects. And the Bohemian sect, the Sabbatean sect, the Luciferian sect, the Talmudian sect, the Zionist sect, the dark Freemasonic sect, the dark Rosicrucian sect, it doesn't matter what sect it is, they're all sub-sects under the banner and the tent of dark occultism in general. 
This is what you guys still fail to understand. And all you morons living on Mount Stupid because you don't have firsthand experiential direct knowledge of the occult world. And all you did was you read a couple of fucking things that confirmed your bullshit know-nothing bias. All the way on the left-hand side of that Dunning-Kruger effect chart on Mount Stupid. And you go, the Zionists are everything. And it's all just them. Or the Jesuits run the whole show, Mark. And you're trying to say that the Jesuits are a part of the dark occult. When I'm telling you the Jesuits run the whole rest of the dark occult. You guys are fucking shit bag morons that should never utter the word occult. You couldn't fucking spell it if you were given a thousand chances to get the spelling of the word occult right. You couldn't fucking spell it, let alone define it, let alone know how it works in the world, because you were never involved for a fucking split millisecond. And you're talking from up your ass, your fist jammed up your ass, All the way up to the peak of Mount Stupid with no experience. And you're trying to tell a person who was directly fucking involved that I'm wrong and you're right when you were never involved. You're a fucking moron. All of you who say that are fucking morons. You're at the peak of Mount Stupid on the Dunning-Kruger effect and you couldn't fucking spell the word occult, let alone explain what it is, let alone explain how it works. Because it's way more fucking complicated than your miserable, little, short-sighted, unidimensionally thinking lardass could ever comprehend in a billion lifetimes. You're that dumb. And if we, again, tell people you wouldn't understand it in the course of a billion of your fucking loser-ass, know-nothing lifetimes, then all of a sudden it's true. Because you guys never spent a millisecond in the occult. And I spent years of my life in the dark occult and in Satanism around dark Luciferians, dark Masons, Satanists, you know, dark Rosicrucians, etc., And you guys never spent a millisecond of involvement with it. And you read a couple of fucking lines and a couple of fucking shittily written books. And then all of a sudden you're an expert on the occult. And now you're saying things like, oh, maybe it's all controlled by one group. And oh, maybe there's an esoteric component to all this control going on. You fucking little children babies. hard to believe what the world has become it's really hard to believe it's hard to believe i actually tried to give people answers for as long as i tried when they didn't deserve one fucking little speck of energy from me ever i should have stayed with them and helped them exterminate this fucking shit trash ape race i should have fucking even if i wanted to leave them just shut my fucking mouth and never said a fucking word because you are unteachable fucking students losers that's what you guys are you're a crop of unteachable losers all the fucking morons who believe in the uh you know neo-feminist garbage and propaganda, and think, oh, we gotta counteract the patriarchy. Let's counter Mark! You don't talk about the patriarchy! How come you don't talk about it's all men controlling all of it? They're, that's as equally as dumb as saying it's all Jewish people, as equally dumb as saying it's all the Catholics, as equally dumb as saying it's the Jesuits, as equally dumb as it's saying it's the Mormons or the fucking Freemasons or whoever the fuck people want to believe in their bullshit, know-nothing, unidimensional shit-for-brains mind because they don't have enough fucking knowledge that it works the way their limited fucking brain and their unidimensional thinking is telling them that it works. No. Just like all the fucking moron, imbecile, low information people who believe we are the patriarchy. I mean, just go fucking gargle with some more fucking roundup people who believe that bullshit. Go drink the fucking roundup. Stop gargling with it, with it, and drink it. You know, that'll do you good. Maybe that'll straighten out your fucking distorted thoughts. That neo-feminist, satanic neo-feminism program there. 
that fucking the people that I used to fucking hang out with have conditioned your fucking mind into believing all this bullshit garbage. Yeah. We we have a patriarchy. Yeah, yeah. It's all it's all men. No women are involved in the fucking social engineer class. No women are involved in the fucking ruling class that really runs the show. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because I didn't see any of them showing up at the fucking satanic rituals. I didn't see any of them at the fucking meetings. You know, it's, it was just all fucking old, rich, white men. This is how fucking retarded people are. Not bad at all. Contrary to neo-feminist propaganda, we do not live in a patriarchy, nor do we live in a matriarchy just because women have been conditioned to condition men and to influence them to obey the control system. See, if, if you really understand the neo-feminist agenda, that's, that's epigenetics. Women conditioning men to listen to them to lead them into a place of total chaos, enslavement, and tyranny. That doesn't mean we live in a patriarchy because women are conditioned to do that. And they're doing that to their to men in society and they're doing that to their children, both male and female. That doesn't mean women are directing the show. It's being directed by the social engineers that actually act as the master class. We do, however, live in what I call, what I refer to as an occultocracy. Rulership by the occult. Rule by occultists. That's what humanity is living in. An occultocracy. And I've amended that over the time to call it a technocratic occultocracy. We live in a technocratic occultocracy, meaning the occult ruling class who knows about human psychology and the real laws of nature are keeping people ignorant regarding that psychology and regarding those laws, and they are doing that through technological means because they're putting all of their propaganda out into the world and the actual truly enlightened people who have some level of knowledge and understanding and wisdom are not putting their propaganda out into the world in nearly enough numbers or with nearly enough force. That's why the technocratic dark occultocracy is winning the war for the human soul. And that's why people who claim that they want freedom and claim that they want that they want things to be orderly and good all around them are losing colossally. You're losing in a big, big, big fucking way. You're not even close to winning. You're not even close to understanding the requirements for winning, let alone have you integrated those requirements, let alone have you acted upon those requirements. You're not even near the understanding of what the requirements are to win in this spiritual combat. Not even close. You, you're in a battle where your opponent is... The, the master MMA artist of the last 500 fucking years, and you're a fucking child eating strained peas in a high chair. That's the lopsided battle that we're fighting. An occultocracy, a, sci- a society that is ruled covertly by a hidden priest class of dark occultists who use their advanced knowledge of the human psyche to mind control the overwhelming majority of the ignorant human population. The occultocracy comprise a small subset of humanity who believe that they are super worthy and that they are on the way to becoming gods on earth. Out-of-control selfishness is the essence of their satanic religion, their satanic mindset. is bent on me, 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 totally out-of-control selfish thinking, which they then give to the rest of humanity at a lower grade level so that they can become easier to control. The occultocracy have inculcated us with their own ego-driven belief system, which has replaced our traditional moral values and has become pervasively entrenched in our culture. As George Carlin said, you have no choice, you have owners. And the, the gig would be over if we learned a thing or two and stood the fuck up. Like it is on this chessboard that the occult chess masters are playing, and humanity's on their fucking knees, prostrate before them, and all we gotta do is learn and stand up. 
and it's game over. We'll, we'll never do it. Humanity will never do it. We're not in the condition to do it. We're not in the level of knowledge to do it. Evil's going to win this round, folks. Evil is going to defeat all goodness in the world, and we are going into another cataclysmic period, which is going to make it infinitely even harder the next time around. If there is a next time. And it, it will be it will be merciful if it's just a true ELE. Whatever happens this time, a true extinction level event is what this planet needs because this race is a wretched satanic abomination upon the face of the earth and it just needs to go. And the only sad part of that is we're going to take a big chunk of the animal kingdom with us, if not all of it, and that's sad and disgraceful. But this race needs to go. And that doesn't mean I'm not for a pro-human future. I'm saying what humanity deserves. And it's true. We don't deserve anything better based on our current performance as beings. Based on our current level of knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. We don't deserve better than what we have. As a matter of fact, I feel that the creator of the universe has been endlessly, abundantly, overly merciful to this trash ape species. Given us way more time than we've deserved. Given us way more opportunity than we have deserved. Constantly, over and over again, pulls the the card that says, give them a stay of execution one more time. And this race doesn't deserve that. Never has once. Like I said, thank your lucky stars I ain't in control of things. Because this race would have been exterminated a long time ago if it were up to me. Thank your lucky stars that... Occultists who are either, you know, want to toy with their food before they kill it and eat it, or the God of creation is somehow providing a stay of execution for this trash ape race. Because I would not be so merciful. Neo feminism is also, in addition to being an occult agenda, a communist agenda. It's a fascist agenda, it's a communist agenda, it's an agenda for complete control over the population. However, it plays to an audience that is certainly more left-leaning than right-leaning politically. And that doesn't mean there aren't morons on the right that believe in neo-feminism, because there certainly fucking are. I hear all the time the nonsense spewing out of especially very, very low-information, dumb women's mouth on social media. Just endless drool that is all contained in the epigenics of neo-feminism, not even knowing that they're plagued by this Satanism in their mind. Like, I hear people who are on my social media friends friends list spouting neo-feminist propaganda, not even knowing that's what they're spouting, thinking that they're talking about relationship dynamics as they perceive them. <laughs> like, out of their own free will, when every word they're saying is a conditioned response from the social engineers and occultists that I'm fucking talking about, that they've never spoken about once, ever, in their whole, you can look at their whole social media history, the word occult will never enter into the picture, the word mind control never enters, social engineering is never said fucking Satanism never talked about. They don't know what real Satanism is. And then in the next breath, they're an expert on how relationships and work and how male-female dynamics should work. And they know more than people who have completely dissected the entire neo-feminism agenda framework all the way down to its constituent elements as I have done. And spent hours upon hours upon hours of my thought fucking personal time in the fucking room with these social engineers where they want to make me one of them and put me on the eugenics arm of the op which like I said count your fucking blessings because if I was entered into the club of Rome and they did fucking pull me up through those satanic ranks the, the population of earth wouldn't be here right now believe me it would not trust me I would have pushed that for the rap 
stupidity of extinction of this species because it is so fucking wretchedly, satanically vile. And that's really what they're doing. They're just doing it in slow motion. They're just the cat toying with the fucking mouse before he finally breaks its fucking spine and neck and eats it. That's all that's happening here. It's a slow torture chamber instead of a fast meat grinder. That's all it is. Socialists and outright communists have long ago taken over the school system in America. Communism infiltrates the educational system throughout our country and has slowly, over the last few generations, culturally taken over the minds of the youth. All ten planks of the Communist Manifesto are in place in America, making this nation a de facto communist regime. And sadly, most people in America cannot even define what communism is. And again, see my presentation, Two Masked, Same Face, The Dark Occult Origins of Nazism and Communism, if you want to go infinitely deeper into these dynamics. Again, this presentation, I'm just hinting at some of the knowledge that you have to acquire, but it's not here to provide the totality of it. If you want to really delve into it in a far deeper way, watch Two Masks, Same Face. Neo-feminism uh, as a communist agenda includes the cultural Marxist plan to wage a covert war on America through a long march through the institutions. This idea was originally formulated by the Frankfurt School think tank under the direction of Italian communist Antonio Gramsci. It was not labeled with that name, the long march through the institutions, until the 1960s, but Gramsci and the Frankfurt School did in fact come up with that formulation of the agenda that in order to entrench socialism and then eventually communism into a nation over the long term, you had to conquer that nation culturally first with your ideas. You had to insert those ideas into pop culture, into literature, into newspapers and magazines, into media, into movies, into television shows, etc. You had to infiltrate the culture first and make it seem hip and cool. Then you get the youth, and then by extension you get the next generation after that youth begins procreating. And they're procreating on the same dysgenic, dysfunctional, mind control program of social engineering that think tanks like this were inculcating them into. This is not rocket science, ladies and gentlemen. You have to understand who the real fucking players have been historically, what their tactics and agendas have been, especially culturally, and then you'll understand exactly how they're steering society at any given moment of time. It's They see it as they're putting one dog's neck in one fucking collar, and then they're walking it around wherever they want it to go. It isn't like they're reaching billions of people individually. They have control of the reins of culture. They have control of the reins of communication. They have control of the reins of media. This is why I'm trying to start a campaign to create the real, true media. The media is supposed to be people who bring the truth to the people, not who lie and propagandize for dark purposes, for control and enslavement. Propaganda can be positive or negative. What I'm doing right now is propagandizing. It doesn't mean it's bad. It doesn't mean it's evil. Propaganda just means you're putting out information toward a long-term goal. And my long-term goal is the true understanding of natural law, objective morality, and the governing dynamics of human freedom and the forces that have fucked that up. Look into Gramsci, look into his uh, understanding of Marxism, look into his plan for the Frankfurt School, and you'll understand it's all about cultural takeover. Realizing that America could not be conquered easily from without, Gramsci's plan was to weaken it over time by infiltrating its institutions and creating socially divisive issues, dialectics, polarization dialectics as I call them. 
This tactic would eventually produce the long-term effect of dividing the genders and destroying the familial dynamic in society. Once again, notice I did not use the word family dynamic. I used the term familial dynamic. The familial dynamic is the foundation upon which the family dynamic stands. It is a lower level dynamic, culturally and um, psychologically, than the family dynamic. It is the foundation underneath the family dynamic, which I call the familial dynamic. Paving the way for the takeover by their party. That whatever bullshit, you know, um, socially engineered political party that they want to trot out. It doesn't matter what they call it. It doesn't matter whether they call it the Socialist Party, the Democratic Party, the Labor Party, the Conservative Party, the fucking Nazi Party, the Communist Party. It doesn't fucking matter. It's all leading you to the same place, which is a gigantic fucking slave pen. And ultimately, one big fucking meat grinder that you're going to get fed the fuck into and chewed the fuck up. Vladimir Lenin who ushered in the Bolshevik Revolution, said, Give me four years to teach the children, and the seed that I have sown will never be uprooted. Boy, was he right, you know? Where are you going to hear? You you think you're going to enter into a a college fucking system, a university system of so-called higher learning, and you're going to get taught this? You think you're going to get taught what I taught people in two masks? You think you're going to get taught what I taught people in the natural law seminar? You think you're going to get, get taught what I taught people in demystifying the occult? You think you're going to get, get taught what I taught people in streetwise spirituality? They're going to shove so many lies up your fucking ass that you're going to burst at the seams. They ain't there to teach you. They ain't there to edify you. They're there to lie to you, program and condition your weak fucking minds. Joseph Stalin said... America is like a healthy body, and its resistance is threefold. It's patriotism, it's morality, and it's spiritual life. And I would say not in that order. Patriotism would come last after the other two. Morality, real spirituality, and patriotism. If we can understand these three areas, America will collapse from undermine these three areas. America will collapse from within. See, he understands it's all about all about internal subversion, internal infiltration and subversion of the culture. And that's what progressivism is. It's collectivism leading to socialism, leading to communism. And it all comes from collective mentality instead of putting up on a pedestal what really should be put up on a pedestal, individual rights by way and by nature and virtue of true understanding of morality and natural law. And that our rights don't come from governments, don't come from people, don't come from people's fucking thoughts or opinions or mental constructs. They come from the creator and the creator's laws. Nikita Khrushchev, later premier of the Soviet Union, said, Your children's children will live under communism. You Americans are so gullible. You won't accept communism outright, but we'll keep feeding you small doses of socialism until you will finally wake up and find that you already have communism. We won't have to fight you. Will so weaken your economy until you fall like overripe fruit into our hands. This was 1959 that Khrushchev made that statement. And it's not just the economy that they're weakening, they're weakening the moral fabric of our society. And not in anti religious ways, in true anti moral ways. Anti morality is what governs fucking America right now. People that don't understand, all government is immoral. All belief in authority is immoral. All forms of violence, coercion, and theft of property is immoral. Whether you think it's violent or not, you're condoning what is actually violent, what is actually coercive, what is actually putting people under duress. 
And that makes you a bad fucking person for continuing to believe those things are morally legitimate and to continue to condone those things. It makes you a bad person. Alexander Trachtenberg said in the 1800s, or I'm sorry, in this was probably in the middle part of the 1900s. When we get ready to take the United States, we will not take it under the label of communism. We will not take it under the label of socialism. These labels are unpleasant to the American people and have been spared too much. We will take the United States under labels we have made very lovable. We will take it under liberalism, under progressivism, and under democracy. But take it, we will. He was the he said this at the National Convention of the Communist Parties at Madison Square Garden in 1944. Okay? So, this is how communism infiltrates a society. It's not going to do it militarily now. It's going to do it socially. It's going to do it culturally. It's going to do it through small doses of progressivism, liberalism, and eventually socialism. And people have to understand that's exactly what neo-feminism is. It is all brought to people to brainwash them under the banner of leftist politics. And ultimately, what drives both left and right politics is Satanism. Dark occultism. This is a dark occult and slightly left-leaning agenda because they know they can brainwash more people from the leftist culture, culturally, from the left with the neo-feminism epigenics ideology than they can right-wing political proponents. It's easier for them to take this agenda to the left-leaning or outright socialist or communist. So it is part of the communist agenda. And most of all, neo-feminism is a satanic agenda. It is an agenda driven by Satanism. And I'm not just talking about Levian Satanism. I'm not just talking about Aquino-based Setianism. I'm not just talking about Tem- uh, satanic temple Satanism. I'm not talking about any particular little sect or faction of Satanism or self-styled, self-styled uh, Satanism as it's called. I'm talking about the worldwide network of dark occultists that I'm referring to as the Satanists who are actually controlling our world. And no, it is not any sect of the dark occult. It is not just the Catholic Church. It is not just the Talmudic Jews. It is not just the Freemasons. It is not just the Jesuits. I'm so sick of hearing your dumbass, know-nothing, ill-fucking-read opinions on what you think occultism is. You don't know a fucking thing about what you think it is or means. At all. You're not educated enough in it to speak on it. Learn infinitely more about it and how it really works, then speak on it. And stop telling the expert, I don't know how the occult works. It's exactly the other fucking way around. Losers, you don't know how the occult works. I know about it because I was in it. You don't know about it because you weren't in it. And even if you weren't in it, you can learn about it from the experts and what they've written and read and told and exposed, and you haven't done that. You've listened to people with an equally ill-informed, ill-read opinion as your own lard asses, and you've grafted onto it like a bullshit religious thinker that just grafts onto ideas that sound good to them at the time with no real level of true knowledge, and... You're like a maggot clinging onto a piece of fucking dead, decaying, fucking rotten, dead person flesh. Just just savagely clinging onto it and eating it. You can't let go of your nonsense, your unidimensional nonsense. It's just the Freemasons, Mark! Mark! It's the Talmudic faction of the Jews! Mark! It's the the Luciferians. Mark is the Catholic Church. Mark, Mark. Stop.
stop trying to convince me of your bullshit religion. I'm not interested. I'm not in your brainwashed fucking cult. Morons. I know how things really fucking work. You don't. You're a moron with no knowledge. I was directly involved. I have knowledge, and I'm speaking from a place thereof. You're a know-nothing repeating another know-nothings nothing. You're repeating their fucking bullshit, making it into a religion, and saying you're the expert and you know when you don't know fucking shit. Listen to an actual expert. And I'm not even talking about myself. Listen to the words of Zena LaVey from the Satanic, the, the Church of Satan, who wrote the introduction to the book The Satanic Witch by Anton LaVey. That is a field manual for modern eugenics. They are, they're openly bragging that that's what it is. They're openly bragging to you dumb fucking mules. You monkey trash ape fucking mules. They're bragging to you. We distort your thinking. We control it. We direct it, and then we breed you in the fucking ways to make you come out like the fucking zombie fucking puzzle. The zombie fucked up fucking jumble of a wreck that almost all you fucktards are. You know nothing, and you know nothing of the social engineers that did what they did to you. Eugenics is one of the four main tenets of the satanic ideology. And again, epi-eugenics follows eugenics. It goes beyond it by waging a campaign of eugenics through the brainwashing of the population. Through mind control tactics, it gets the population to cull the characteristics out of itself for the ruling class. The ruling class don't have to physically call those characteristics out or call the people anymore. The, they brainwash the population so severely that the population does the calling for the masters themselves. They're not even on their own fucking team. They're not even acting in their own interest. They're calling all the best parts of themselves for their masters. That's what epi-eugenics is. Eugenics waged through mind control, whereby those being fucking called do it themselves. Eugenics is one of the four pillars of Satanism, along with rampant selfishness or egotism, moral relativism, and social Darwinism. Those are the four basic tenets of modern Satanism. One of this religion's significant books, The Satanic Witch, which every person who wants to understand human freedom should have already read by now. If you haven't read The Satanic Bible and The Satanic Witch, and you don't understand them as operational war manuals against the population, you're a fucking dumb motherfucker. And you, you think you don't need to read those books, when in fact you need to read them more than anybody if you still don't understand the ideologies that are contained in the fucking books written by LaVey and others in the Church of Satan. Or by people like Michael Aquino of the Temple of Set. You don't understand what's being done to you because you don't have enough knowledge of your opponent's fucking mindset. And I go into a room where I can say to people, raise their hands. Have you ever read the Satanic Bible? And like three people put their hands up. Raise your hand. Have you ever read the Satanic Witch? And like two people put their hands up. And we think we're going to beat these fucking people? You don't even know they understand their strategies. And you think you're going to win against the fucking people that are this fucking advanced and smart? And this is nothing. This is zero. This is like a, this is like a child going into kindergarten class. And this is the book we're going to read today, children. This is not high-level tactics. You haven't gotten to their high-level tactics. This is this is the, the sect of Satanism that is willing to tell you, hey, this is some of the shit we do to the fucking 
herd. This is some of the shit we do to the low lives, low life trash ape fucking animals that we rule over. This is the scene level of the masters of this reality. The scene level of the epigenics commanders. You haven't. You, you'll never get to their fucking real white papers. You'll never get to their real mental sharing between them. You'll never get to that. This is kindergarten 001 class. And you haven't read that. And you think we're, you think we're going to beat these fucking people. Yeah. Sure. With this kind of level of ignorance, yeah, oh, we're, 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 we're going to win. We're winning. Where's Ralph when you need him? Let's bring Ralph Wiggum up, you know, because uh, Ralph always has very enler- enlightening words for eh. Yeah, there it is. Ralph has such enlightening words for us all the time, you know, because, you know, don't you know, we're winning. I mean, Folks, we don't know anything about the occult, and we're not willing to listen to the experts. We're not never going to bring Passio on any fucking show that has maybe more than three or four thousand listeners. So we're not going to actually learn from any expert or somebody that was actually in the occult or anything. We're going to like to talk back and forth between each other, and we're going to go. Yeah, do you think maybe there's an esoteric component to all of this control? I don't know. There could be, uh, but maybe if I talk about it, there go all my listeners, and then, oh yeah, all my click-throughs, and my my YouTube blood money that I accept, and all my advertising dollars, so, oh, m- maybe, maybe there's something related to the occult, but we can't bring Passio on, yeah, but we're winning, yay, we're winning, Ralph, thank you very much. You're always such a pleasant guest. You're always just such enlightening words for our viewing audience. Uh, Thank you again. Thanks. We'll bring you back on real soon. Yeah, that's where we're at. That's where this fucking retard race is at. Yeah. And Mark Passio is the problem for his anger and his sarcasm and his mockery of the fucktards of the world. It's not us. It's not our refusal to fucking really understand what's being done to us. Through the occult. No, it's Passio and his anger and his sarcasm and his fucking mockery. Yeah, that's the problem. (laughs) The Satanic Witch is a manual on how to manipulate men to bring men to the selfish bidding of a quote-unquote crafty woman. It reads like a diary of modern of the modern neo-feminist female. This is a war manual for neo-feminism to get people under the epigenics umbrella of the neo-feminist movement. And you, you think any of the dumb fucktards in the MGTOW movement have ever recommended to people go study Satanism and you'll understand that eugenics is one of the big pillars of their ideology and this is what they're doing to men? This is what the neo-feminist agenda is and what it's doing to men? So it brings us into a system of total enslavement? Never heard a fucking one of you retards talk about it, you fucking trash ape retards. You ever hear any of these men's rights activists shitting their shit smear out of their fucking shit hose for a mouth ever talking about Satanism? Not a fucking one of them, because you don't know shit. You're dumb, selfish fucks that just want to shoot your fucking horse shit hose at the next fucking guy over in the next fucking booth and have his horse shit hose spew all over you. That's all you're doing. You're you're horse shit splattering each other. You're in a horse shit splatter contest from the mouth. You're like this. Boop, there goes my horse shit. Boop, there goes his horse shit. Let's splatter all each all over each other. That's what you guys are. And you never say a fucking thing. You've never learned a fucking thing. In all the fucking years I've been talking about this, none of you fucking morons have ever learned a fucking thing, you trash apes. And you wonder why 
women in our society behave the way they do. You wonder why men are seen the way they're seen. You wonder why there's more and more fucking tyranny and control and men... And fucking everybody's losing their fucking rights. It's so, I just wonder about it. I don't understand how that's just continuing to happen. Because all I'm saying is I'm a dumb fucktard that's going to just drop out of society. Never learn a fucking thing. Never learn about my master's ideology. Never teach that to other people. Never learn natural law. Never teach that to a fucking soul. And somehow we're, it's going to end up okay for everybody. That's what a dumb fuck who's a runaway thinks like. You see, kids? You see, you little shit brains? That's how it works. Like, we don't learn anything. We don't teach anything to others. We don't try to fucking improve our behavior or the behavior of others. And everything's just going to be okay. Yay! We're winning! And then the problems pass you for telling you you're a dumb little fucking child. That's the problem, don't you know? Absolutely. Don't listen to a fucking word I'm saying. I was only involved for a fucking decade with the fucking people who have actually formulated the eugenics program that's murdering your fucking loser asses. That's all I am. I'm just an expert in how that all fucking works, in their ideology, and exactly what they think of you, and exactly what they're doing to you. But don't listen to me. Go and yap to each other about, maybe there's an esoteric component to this somehow. Oh, I don't know, maybe... Just could be. It just could be. Who knows? I guess we can never really know, can we, kids? I mean, this is how much you people need to be fucking mocked. You really do. You really do. Listen to the quote by Zena LaVey, Anton LaVey's daughter, who wrote the foreword for his book called The Satanic Witch. The Satanic Witch, the book, The Satanic Witch, among many other things, is a guide to selective breeding, a manual for eugenics. LaVey's daughter, Zena, who considered herself a high-level Satanic Witch, and in fact was... And perhaps, I don't know, I think she came out of this mentality later in her life. But I'm telling you, there is no better gauge for saying exactly what this is than to hear it out of the mouth of Zena LaVey herself. In the introduction, The Satanic Witch, the book The Satanic Witch, among many other things, is a guide to selective breeding, a manual for eugenics, right from her mouth. This was, at one point, second in command to Anton LaVey himself, who was the high priest of the Church of Satan. He, that was his daughter. Her word was all over the place within the Church of Satan and in the Satanic community, period. And she's telling you out in the open, just like her former husband, or I don't know whether they're still together, Nicholas Schreck, you know, said... We are in control. It's not a matter of what the world's going to look like if we come into control. We already are in control. We are directing the human mind for our purposes as we see fit. We are waging a propaganda war campaign, a guerrilla war on the human mind and how people think. Telling you this openly. Openly. And that's what this agenda is. It is an agenda of Lilith energy. It is a witch agenda. It is a satanic witch agenda. That's what it is. And that is directed by the highest level dark occultists who are the master psychologists and the master eugenicists. Accept that or don't, it's your fucking funeral. Continuing with what the actual solutions are, it's understanding who directs the agenda. It's understanding what kind of an agenda it is, what kind of a campaign, what kind of a war is being waged. Ideologically, what is it about? And then the, the, the other solution, upon understanding that, we have to step into a consciousness of true care, not I'm going to just escape. I'm going to just go and be on my own. I'm going to drop out of society. I'm going to flee to the fucking mountainside. I'm going to flee to the countryside, not interact with anybody, not teach anybody. This is what uncaring people without true sacred feminine energy awoken in their heart and in their heart-based intelligence, that's how they think. And 
Again, it's bringing your former religion into the new field of endeavor with you. You're not activating the sacred feminine through true care. You're just saying, I only care about my own comfort. I don't want to put skin in the game because that's uncomfortable. I don't want to learn communication and publishing. That's uncomfortable to me. I was told I won't have to get involved in that capacity by some bullshit artist who gave me incorrect information. Instead of listening to what I've been saying for 17 years, we all need to become involved. We all need to put skin in the game. We all need to make sacrifices. We all need to speak aloud and amplify the voice of truth. That's what real care is. That's what agape heart energy is. It's not some bullshit new age nonsense of just be super... Around. You could be as pleasant as you want, you loser fucking jackass, and there's still going to be fucking tyranny coming down upon your fucking head and ass because you're ignorant, you're apathetic, you're lazy, and you're cowardly. And you don't put the fucking work in, you don't make the sacrifices, you don't fucking actually do right behavior, you don't communicate things, you don't create media, you don't put it out there for other people's education, and you magically expect the fucking world to change because you just want it to. That's how the New Age Guru told you it would work. Just be nice and just help a few people around you and never really try to truly teach anybody or change anybody's minds or do anything fucking great. And all of a sudden, the world's going to change just because you wanted it to, and you put a big shit-eating smile on your face and said, Let, may, may the world change in my favor. You're fucking retarded. You don't understand how reality fucking functions. You want to bend it to your will instead of you bending to its will. And that's why you're going to eternally fucking lose. That's why you're an eternal fucking loser. And you don't have to be. That's a choice. That's a choice. No one has to be that eternal loser. You can work on yourself. You can do the fucking shadow work. You can acknowledge your shortcomings. You can learn. You can grow. You can fucking do the right thing. That's all a fucking choice. And almost all of you guys are making the wrong fucking one. Almost all of you. Not me. I've made the right one. That's what I'm sitting here doing. And I'm going to do it in a different capacity that's probably going to be a lot more fucking powerful. Because I need a break from this bullshit, quite frankly. I need a break from my efforts to do this because so few people haven't taken up this fucking banner and done it along with me. I need a fucking break. I need to step out. I need to tag out. I need to do something different that's long term, I feel, going to be more effective. Because I'm going to teach the really driven fucking people and give them a little bit of a fucking kick and impetus to go all the fucking way and maybe make a lot more content creators than I already have. I shouldn't say make. They'll do that. I'll influence them to make themselves into content creators. That's how I should word it. So you need to awaken the true sacred feminine energy of true agape care. And when I look out into the freedom community, folks, it ain't there. It's a bunch of selfish fucking satanic assholes bringing in all the same bullshit mindsets and religions that they brought in from day one. They haven't abandoned any of their religions. It's nonsense. What they believe is nonsense. What they think the solutions are are nonsense. The fact that they won't put any skin in the game is all fucking bullshit nonsense. And I'm here to tell you the truth about that because no one else will because no one has the balls and no one wants to burn their fucking finances of their operation to the ground. I will. I don't give a fuck if no one ever gives me a fucking penny ever again for as long as I fucking live. I'm going to speak the fucking truth. Motherfuckers. So real true care has to be fully awakened within each individual. If that doesn't happen, your consciousness isn't really changed. You can't make any fucking lasting impact for the positive in our world. It's impossible, according to natural law. The lost principle is care for the truth. The lost principle is the dynamic of care. 
what we care about on a day-to-day basis, acts as the driving force of our thoughts and our actions. Therefore, true care can be seen as the ultimate generator, the generative principle of the quality of our collective experience as a species here on Earth. This principle has often been referred to as the generative principle. It's what the G in the middle of the compasses and square in Freemasonry stands for. And in in other words, it is the biblical principle of Genesis, of how to truly create. It is the true law of attraction and creation principle, is true care. Agape is what that G in the middle of the compasses and square stands for. True care, the lost principle, the generative principle, Genesis, creation. That's what truly we create with. And all you got to do is look around, see what we've created, and answer the question, does humanity embody the spirit of true care? And if you say that we do, you're a bullshit artist and you're a fucking liar. We don't care at all, let alone do we care enough. We care with such a tiny, insignificant amount that it might as well not be there at all. It's like saying, we got to demolish this building. It's going to require a lot of kinetic force. And somebody walks up to it and they go, and give it a nice gentle blow that wouldn't even blow out a fucking kid's birthday cake candle. And they're like, well... That about does it. I did my part. That's where we're at. That's what people think is requirements for freedom. Like you've been told we need a lot of kinetic energy over here because we need to take this building out of the way. We don't get this building out of the way. It's going to be a disaster. It's going to collapse and a lot of people are going to die. We got to bring it down in a controlled way. That's going to require lots and lots of kinetic energy. And a person strolls over. They, 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 They march over like this. All right, let's get this done. And give it an, a fucking old fart, like an old, an old fucking man fart of a breath, you know, that you can't even hear it. It's just like, like that. And, well, that's all the energy we have to put into that. Thank God that's done. Let's move on to our next daily task of making ourselves comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how, that's how it works, kiddos. You didn't know? It's, it's, it's called the, let's put out an old man fart for a breath on, on the building that needs a huge controlled demolition with lots of kinetic energy. And we'll just breathe on it like an old man fart. There's your song for that one. Did you enjoy it, dumb mud apes? I hope you enjoyed your little song there, you know, because... That's how much you understand the amount of energy that really needs to be expended through true care to get the job done of creating human freedom. You understand it about like that. Your dunce retards. Most people don't care about the truth. They only care about what works in their favor, no matter how unfair, no matter how inhumane that may be. All you guys really fucking care about is your own comfort. You only care about your own bullshit. You only care about what you want. You only care about your fucking money, your fucking things, your fucking creature comforts. And that would, what's that. Are the exact, those are the exact dynamics that make you a piece of immoral dirt. You don't have fucking true care. What we care enough to put our will behind is ultimately what gets created in our world. The world is the way that it is because most people do not care enough, even if they say they want things to be different, to change the way things are through their actual actions, through their behavior. That's why you ask people, what are you doing in the service of human freedom? What have you done? This is how I'm going to, I'm going to leave the air saying the same thing I said year over year over year. Don't worry about it all, Mark Passio. Mark Passio is just fine in the grand scheme of creation. I did well. I did well. I did better than almost everybody else. I did better than infinitely most. Am I perfect? 
absolutely certainly not, not by the farthest stretch of the human imagination, am I fucking perfect in any way. And I'll be the first to tell you. But that doesn't mean I let my lack of imperfection stop me from fucking trying and stop me from doing. From actually fucking doing the right thing. How many people have sat back and said, Oh yeah, I know that that's going on. I know slavery's happening. I know children are being fucking murdered. I know all kinds of injustices are going on all over the whole fucking godless world. I can't be bothered to lift a finger. Just... I just hear about it, I say, oh yeah, that's happening, what the fuck can I do? And that's the question I'm asking you, what the fuck have you done? You could do billions and billions and billions of fucking things instead of sitting on your lard, lud-tard asses with your hand jammed up your asshole, because that's what you have done, almost all of you, almost every single one of you have done that. You're experts in that, you're way over to the right side of the Dunning-Kruger effect, Plateau of expertise. Uh, shoving your hand up your ass and sitting on your lard ass doing nothing, being a fucking ludtard. Yeah, you're perfect experts at that. You're flawless. You get a 10 out of fucking 10, a thousand out of a thousand, you're flawless at that. Ask somebody to put some skin in the game of freedom. Ask them to generate real fucking care inside their own fucking black fucking satanic hearts. And sacrifice their time. Sacrifice their fucking resources. Sacrifice things that they wanted to do from their selfish fucking creature comforts. And get involved in this spiritual war. Fuck you. I can't be fucking bothered. You're the fucking work mule. You do it. You do it, work mule. That's what's been said to me. And what you guys need to say to your fucking self is what the fuck have you done? And the answer that you need to look long and hard in the mirror that you ain't going to have to say to me, you ain't going to have to say to the fucking mirror, you're going to have to say to God, you did fucking nothing. You did nothing but maybe at least listen and accept what was going on and then you check the fuck out is what you guys did. You check the fuck out. That's shadow work. That's forced fucking shadow work right there, boys and girls. That's why you don't like Mark Passio these days. Guess what? All the early introductory information is bullshit next to this. The real fucking shadow work is what's important. Telling yourself the real truth about your fucking self is what's really important. Learning all the stuff about mind control. Yeah, you were real comfortable with that. Because that's all external to yourself. Oh, woe is us. This is all being done to us. Mark's telling us how they're doing all these things to us. Yeah. Yeah. With your tacit, obedient, fucking consent and doing nothing to fucking resist. That's how they've done what they've done to you. And you won't fucking teach other people. That's why the world's full of a bunch of fucking know-nothing jackasses. And then you want to say the problems with my fucking anger. Go fuck yourselves, losers. Now there is a fucking beer for the last half hour of what on earth is happening. I'll tell you just to tell you, that beer, backwoods bastard. For those who know, you know. All right, that's a beer for the last half hour of what on earth is happening. The next aspect of respect is developing true self... The next aspect of the solution, excuse me, is developing true self-respect. Because you guys don't have it. The people who buy into the neo-feminist agenda, you don't have self-respect. You have a bunch of fucking self-aggrandizing bullshit notions of fucking uh, self-importance and and being God. That's what you guys have. You have an over incentive inflated sense of nonsensical self-worth. You don't have real self-respect. If you did, you wouldn't buy into fucking cult mentality, which is what you've bought into, buying into neo-feminism. The word respect is derived from the Latin prefix re, meaning again, and the Latin verb spectare, meaning to look at. To develop self-respect means to take another look at oneself and tell the truth. That's what shadow work is. That's why people say, I love, let me see if I can get their voices right. I love early Pasio because that was the guy that was taking it real easy on us and he had a nice velvet glove. 
that he was tickling my asshole with. That was early Passio. Then, when Passio went to putting a fucking iron gauntlet and knocking you the motherfuck out with a vicious left hook, all of a sudden, he's no good. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the veracity of my words. I'm just turning the tables on you and saying, you know what? Yes, all those mind control techniques do, in fact, exist. But in order for there to be sales of those mind control techniques, there have to be willing buyers of those techniques. And you have bought into many of their mind control techniques and stayed there. You haven't transcended your bullshit religions. I hear everybody going, I don't agree with what pass you everything he says. Then you don't say, where have I heard? W- what is my incorrect opinion? Where is it? You don't actually present an argument. And when you do, you present faulty evidence to support your argument. I've given you all of the perfectly logical, moral reasons why all of the bullshit religions of this world can never lead to order and can only ever lead to chaos. They are out of alignment with objective morality and natural law. They put people into a satanic mindset whereby they only care about themselves and don't care about anyone else. And they get them focused endlessly on their own creature comforts and desires instead of being focused on learning and growth and freedom for the whole species. That's what agape care is. And most people don't have it. Because they won't challenge their religions by looking in the mirror, doing shadow work, and asking the hard questions. Why do I think the way that I think? Why do I believe this as a fundamental driving axiom? This is what I'm going to do with people when I mentor them. We got to look at where your sticking points are at. Then we got to do shadow work on them. Why haven't you begun? Why haven't you learned? Why haven't you grown in certain aspects? Why haven't you done the great work? Stop pointing fingers at others. I can point fingers externally to the people who are not doing the work because I am doing the work. Can't you see the difference? You're pointing fingers at me who is doing the work when you haven't. I'm allowed to point fingers outside because I've done the work and you haven't. You're not allowed to point fingers outside because you haven't done the work. Why is that such a challenging fucking concept for people to understand? Those who have done nothing have no right to cast stones. The people who do have the right to cast stones are the people who have tried with the core of the very fucking fabric of their being and put the most skin in the game and put the most energy and sacrifice into the fucking game. And I only use the word game symbolically. It's not a fucking game. It's a very real, serious fucking thing. And no, this isn't a persona behind the camera. This is my real personality. Ask anybody who really fucking hangs around me for any length of time. Not just someone who sees me occasionally, or I show up at an event and and happen to be around for a certain time. If you're around me all the fucking time, you'll know that I'm showing people who I really am. This is my real level of intensity. This is my what I really fucking hate. This is my real fucking teaching style. If you don't like it, I don't give a shit. I've done it better than anybody else. I've broken the concept of natural law onto the world for the average member of the public to be able to understand better than anybody else in human history. I don't give a fuck who disagrees with that or thinks it's an egotistical statement. That is the fucking full legacy of my work. No one has ever fucking brought it to the masses of people in an understandable fashion and is in a condensed of a fashion and way that I have done. So don't worry about Mark Passio. Ask your fucking self. Look in the fucking mirror and talk to your fucking self about what you've done and why you haven't done a fucking thing. Because you want your creature comfort, you're a lazy bag of shit, you want to stay fucking comfortable, you don't want to do the work, you don't fucking care enough, you don't take any fucking right action, you don't put any skin in the game, and you don't really have any fucking goddamn self-respect. You hate yourself deep in fucking side. And that's why you haven't done the great work. That's what where almost everybody in this fucking world is at, boys and girls. Let's be fucking serious and say the real shit. Let's say the real fucking truth and talk real shit on the fucking mic. Because that's the way it really is. You little fucking punks out there. You little fucking sad bitches.
That's how it really is. You've done no work. You've put no skin in the game. You've done no internal work. You haven't changed your bullshit religions. That's why you don't like the new boy Pantio. You know, you want to go to the old episodes. You don't want to hear what he's saying now because he's telling you you're the fucking problem, not the Satanists. You see? You want to hear it's all external to yourself. The people doing it to you are external to yourself, and the fucking solution's external to yourself. That's what you want motherfuckers to tell you what you want to fucking hear, because you're a low-life loser. You don't want to hear the real deal. You're the fucking problem. Your thinking's the problem. What you believe is the problem. What you condone is the problem. What you don't do is the fucking problem. That's why you're losers who are going to eternally fucking lose. And I'm here to tell you that. I ain't here. I ain't your fucking friend, motherfucker. This is why people don't like the new patio. I don't like the new patio. Because I thought Mark was my friend. I thought that guy on the camera was was my friend. Teaching me about satanic mind control. I've never been your fucking friend. I'm charged with speaking the truth of creation out into a fucking dumb society. I'm telling you how the fucking laws of freedom work. Out into a dumb society. I'm telling you what needs to change inside to change the external effect that we experience in the world. You don't like the new Passio, quote-unquote, because you don't want to fucking hear the truth about your fucking lazy, ignorant, arrogant, cowardly, and do-nothing self. That's the truth of the fucking matter. Let's get it clear and straight. If you do develop some self-respect, you'll hear the truth in what I just said in a not- very nice way. I don't need to say anything nicely. I need to say what's true. Right now, you can't tell people the truth in too nice of a fashion. It doesn't get through. It doesn't stick. They don't really fucking hear it. They hear what they want to hear. And people will still complain. Oh, how dare you say that like that to other people, Mark? Mark! How dare you say that like that to other people? Because I don't give a fuck about your bullshit feelings. Your feelings are what you were mind-controlled to listen to instead of the voice of wisdom. Your feelings are fucked up. Your feelings are wrong. Your feelings made you weak. Your feelings made you ignorant. Your feelings made you lazy. Your feelings made you incompetent. Your feelings made you cowardly. Maybe the problem with your feelings, not mine. You see, I have the correct feelings. I have the correct emotions. And I'm expressing them in the ways that are required in today's day and age, in today's times. I'm doing the fucking alchemical work of influencing others and telling them exactly what they need. It's not what you want to hear, but it's what you fucking need to hear. Make no mistake about that, you little fucking punk bitch children out there. Develop some true self-respect for yourself as a fucking being, and then maybe you'll be angry about the insults to your fucking soul that the occult ruling class have fucking waged upon you. Maybe you'll start developing some fucking care that you have had a fucking eugenics war waged upon you, and your children have had a eugenics war, and unborn children are going to be born into fucking slavery because of the eugenics war that is waged upon us. You're not angry enough about that because you don't have enough fucking self-respect. You need to be angry about those things and not about the bullshit that you're angry about. Like, Mark's getting really nasty at us. And I'm very angry about that because Mark can be nicer to all the ignoramus dumbasses out there that haven't really listened since day one and externalized everything instead of really looked at themselves and done the shadow work that needs to be done. So I'm not angry about all the people not understanding real freedom and not doing the shadow work on themselves. I'm angry at Mark! Mark! What you guys have been saying since you say my name like a dumb fucking retard from another planet is where the fuck is Mindy? Because you're saying Mork, not Mark. That's what you guys sound like. Like fucking Tweedledee asking where Mork and Mindy are. Real self-respect means doing the hard fucking work of looking at yourself in the mirror, asking all the fucking things about why you're not doing what you need to be doing, and then answering the fucking questions honestly. Now, you don't want to do that. 
You know how many people have tuned out of my work once I started telling them that's what it's really about? It's out the door we go. We came in to hear what was being done to us. Out the door I go when you start telling me it's my responsibility to change it by changing the way I think, changing the way I think about who I am in the world, how I think, what I believe, what I can do. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you, I'm out. That's what almost everybody has said about Mark Passio and what on earth is happening. That's the real answer to Mike Adams' question. Why don't people want to bring me on their fucking platforms? Because I'm going to tell you the truth about the human condition. I'm going to tell you the truth about human self-loathing. I'm going to tell you the truth about human inaction. I'm going to tell you the truth about how bad people are because they don't put any skin in the game, because they make no sacrifice, because they don't want to really learn and get off a fucking Mount Stupid and go up the fucking plateau of wisdom. They don't want to do that because it implies personal responsibility as a true adult being. God forbid anybody want to do that. Because we got to remain eternal self-loathing children with no fucking self-respect. The non-support of order followers and dominators is a gigantic part of the solution. Especially when it comes to women who continuously support these fucking cock-sucking losers. Women need to step into their own empowering roles as influencers of human morality. That's their intended role. As motherly nurturers and beings who are supposed to be in touch with the feminine intuitive aspect and care-based aspect. That's their actual role as beings on earth that they've completely fucking abandoned just about. No, because all it's about is how much money does that dude have that he can fucking give over to me and I could just use him as an ATM. That's what the modern condition woman, that's all they fucking care about and think. Man's a fucking ATM. Fuck even being a provider. It shouldn't even be seen as men's role as a provider. Everybody needs to be a fucking nurturer and a provider. Everybody needs to be a protector. Everybody needs to step into both the sacred masculine and feminine and inside of themselves. This isn't about just splitting it according to gender roles. Number one. Women, however, have a, a more instinctive capacity to act as that influencer of morals. That's really what they excel at, or used to excel at anyway. One of the most significant ways women can do this is to draw a line in the sand by refusing to support in any way men who are employed as order followers, meaning the police, the military, people in government, etc. Any man accepting a job in which they engage in the initiation of violence and coercion should be encouraged by women to quit that immoral job and to find a moral one. And most women won't do that because they want government to exist, because they are convinced that somehow they receive benefits and protection of government when all they receive is coercion and enslavement from government. They are their uh, absolute slaves and subjects and can't even see it in many cases. And they'll just go and have all kinds of relationships with people who are in the military, people who are in the police, people who are in government, people who are in other dominator roles. This quote from Buddha says, blessed are they who earn their livelihood without harming others. Right livelihood is what women in modern society should be encouraging. But they're not. All they give a shit about is money. 99% of them. Or greater. We have to foster the true sacred chemical, alchemical wedding, true sacred union coming into balance, balancing the heart and the mind, balancing the sacred masculine and the sacred feminine. Emotional thinking is a feminine trait. It helps you care about what is right and true. Logical and critical thinking is a masculine trait that helps you figure out solutions regarding what is right and true. The awakened woman balances both these modalities of consciousness. It's mastering both the the, the brain and the heart. And the problem is, most women are lost in the left brain, just like most people of our society today. They're only concerned with the practical. They're only concerned with the monetary. They're only concerned with resources. They're only concerned with survival needs. They're only concerned with comfort. They don't have the sacred alchemical union. They don't have the sacred alchemical marriage. The the alchemical wedding is gone. 
in most modern relationships. We don't have a true blending and coming together of masculine and feminine, of the non-aggression principle and the self-defense principle together. The blending of logic and true care between the brain and the heart. We don't have that. Mastering yourself is a true power, said Lao Tzu. And again, it's this perceived struggle between the brain and the heart, which can be brought into a place of balance. That's what real agape care is all about. That the heart has become so deeply activated that it drives people to really activate their learning and their knowledge and become capable, competent people in the world that then are able to communicate the message. I don't understand why it's so difficult for people to understand this. This is kindergarten shit, ladies and gentlemen. This is not complex spirituality. This is spirituality basics 101, and people have too much chattering drama going on inside their fucking shit for brain skull that they can't quiet the mind enough to hear the voice of wisdom explaining to them what they need to do. They can't find their dharma because their mind is just a chattering monkey symphony it's just a it's a monkey madness symphony going on with a chattering chimp voice in the brain practice transcendental meditation so you can quiet the mind and actually hear the voice of wisdom speaking to you it is possible to do that most people aren't doing that especially women programmed by the whole neo-feminism agenda they're not doing that at all This is about placing love under will, and that doesn't mean subverting it, as people believe. When it is said in Thelema, love is the law, love under will, it means that love has to be the foundation which supports the will. It's literally a placement, physically, love under will. Will is here above Love is here as the foundational bedrock. It's a literal statement. It's not even to be taken symbolically. Just even the way it's said is symbolic. It's green light. It's it's a alchemical language effect. Love under will. And everybody goes, oh, you're going to subvert love to the will? No, dumbass. It means that the will of the individual has to be placed upon the true foundational bedrock of agape love. If agape love isn't your foundational bedrock, your will cannot stand upon it, and it does nothing, and it goes nowhere. That's how you read occult language. And honestly, that's why most people can't read occult language. They couldn't even break down something simple like that, like forget anything more uh, you know, occultically complex. People can't even think at that level. They don't have any correlative thinking. They have no symbolic thinking. They have no allegorical thinking. That's because their parents did a number on them. Their f- families did a number on them. Their teachers did a number on them. The school system did a number on their fucking brains and minds. And they can't really fucking think at any deeper level other than, when's my next paycheck coming? That's about it. That's all they give a fuck about. The sacred feminine, which is what has to be activated to conquer the neo-feminism agenda, is all about care supporting right action. That's what the feminine is, true care. The male child is right action, symbolically, allegorically. Action is a masculine principle. When care gives birth to right action, that's when we're doing the right thing in the world. That's when we're really making progress. Do you see that actually happening, folks? Could you say the people of Earth are a perfect expression, are a high-level expression of true care being activated in their hearts, and then right is nurturing right action and giving birth to right action in the world? Could you really make that statement? Could you really say that with a straight fucking face and not be a fucking loser liar to yourself and everyone around you? Could you really say, you know what? The people of Earth embody this dynamic. Mark! The people of Earth embody the dynamic of they've activated true agape care and then they've given that dynamic of the sacred feminine inside of them has given birth to right action in the world. 
If you say that, you're a total fucking liar. And all I want you to do is say what's true. Let's start where we're at. Say what's true and start moving forward from there in a stepwise progression. We can't even get to that step. We can't get to the first step on the porch of the fucking temple of enlightenment. We're not even on the fucking road to it, let alone have we arrived, let alone have we gone up to the porch, let alone have we ascended the big spiral staircase inside. We haven't even shown up. Because we haven't placed love as the foundational bedrock under the will that we build upon it. We haven't done that. We haven't activated agape care or love. One of the biggest dynamics that we have to nurture and support in our world is conscious parenting. It's one of the biggest and highest level solutions to defeating the satanic epigenics agenda. And that's why the familial dynamic has to be respected in our society and grown, not divided and ultimately, you know, put down. Folks, that's all the time that we're going to have for this edition of What on Earth is Happening. I want to thank everybody for listening. We'll see you right here for the final episode this season when we wrap up the Unholy Feminine revisited and extended uh, this uh, same time next week. Thank you for listening. We'll see you for what could be the last What on Earth is Happening ever next week.